Good morning, good morning to you. Today is the ninth day of January 2024. We recently just started the new year, but it is the 29th. It's the ninth day of January 2024. Good morning. This is the Morning Connection. Just to say that we are here in studio. This is your host, Percival Palmer, welcoming you to the Morning Connection. Even as you go about your business today, whether you are in your private car, on the bus, at home, just waking up, beginning to do your chores, or you are heading off to school, it is indeed a good day. So we're just saying, telling you that we are here. Good morning, Good morning Connection. Good morning to our engineer. Good morning to all of Jamaica. What we need, what we need is solidarity with each other. As we seek to plot a new course going forward in this country. Good morning. It's now time for our 6.30 break as we welcome you to the Morning Connection. Register click away. www.bestfm.com Streaming live on the internet. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. The best taxi service. 
They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Do you need reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Milan. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. Vejan Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hackett Park Road. Vejan Printers, your best choice in printing. Live, camera, volume. Leave it up Fridays on Best 100 FM. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with I, Ibilayon, each and every Friday. Giving you the better vibes heard everywhere. Goodness mercy, it's me again, Lord. Your restorer, your game changer. Join me every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and Best FM 100. It's Apostle Clive Campbell, a.k.a. the Khaki Soup Man, coming to you from 8 to 12 Aaron Street, also Richmond District, Mandeville. Embrace the change. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted, it's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 754-3659. Nine, ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Let me sound healthy at all. Get healthy, my friends. Stay balanced. Tune into this station, Best FM 100, every Saturday morning, 8 o'clock to 9. For this wonderful program, Your Health Today, with me, Dr. Clarion Palmer. <laughs> yes, get healthy, get healthy, get healthy. Stay balanced. Best FM 100, Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, with me, Dr. P. Get healthy. Half a tree, half a tree, one and dry, half a tree. Bossy, how are you doing a tech taxi start? Jano, I want to tell you, say, at two months now, my transmission mash up, you know, and I check everybody and can't hear nothing positive. Yeah, hear me? Yeah, we waste all that time on shop down and never call the experts. Winters auto have them. Them have over 35 years of experience and them diagnose a problem and get back your transmission brand new. For them service excellent and efficient. Trust me man. You yeah, hear me? Call them at 929-7040 or go to them at 106 Maxfield Avenue, Kingston 13 and talk directly to the boss. Just tell them I'm me send you. Whoa, you big star. Yeah man, respect my boss. I try calling you because trust me. Auto spares and repairs. Good afternoon. Ah, what a 
Greetings. 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 I go by the name of Miss Maya Waste. Catch me on Best 100. I will be discovering the greatness of Jamaica and Jamaicans through people, places and things, home and abroad. Playing you some good music, along with interviewing artists, sound men, producers and Jamaicans making a difference all over the world. So catch me between the hours of 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Monday to Thursday on Best 100 FM. One love. One love. Stepping from across the sea Smiling happily with everyone The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning welcome back to the morning connection how are you this morning wow what a day it was yesterday a lot of things happened and we spoke about a lot of different things but we are here this with you this morning you know even good morning good morning good morning you know even as we begin this day today is the ninth day of january yesterday was my anniversary we had a wonderful time but guess what today is my dear sister today is my mother's birthday and today I celebrate a wonderful lady who has patterned a lot of stuff to us as our children in terms of honesty, love of country, love of neighbor. And she was a friend to a lot of persons. So today, Miss Hazel, we celebrate you as we thank you for the impact that you have had on not only our lives, but on the lives of many individuals um, in this country, around the, the world. You know, this morning, uh, Minette, welcome, Minette. Trust that you are here. Um, this morning, it says, a friend. Yes. A friend. He, the, the producer, come. Um, Fine on all cylinders this morning. Yesterday was having fun. A friend is always loyal, and a brother is born to help in time of need. I, you know, as I reflect and I celebrate my mother today, I have stories. <laughs> I guess you're used to it in a uh, minute. In terms of when we would cook, and she would cook, she always cooked. Not just what was there, but cook more than what was necessary and then what she would say because as i said to her mom why is it that you cook so much would you say somebody will pass along and in be in need of a meal and you are you are you can relate to that having grown up yeah, in beautiful mom, mount moriah my mother is from the same the same school yes i think there was a school putting out women like <laughs> you still do that at your home because i know you're the main chef <laughs> Do you do that? Yes, yes, we do. We do. Yeah. And, and, and and some other time. And and as and I reflect on it, I don't know if you had the same thing um for you. Remember we we're talking about family yesterday. Mm-hmm. Even though we would say that there's not enough space, if a relative or a cousin from country needed to come to town to do something to go to school, or my mom got wind of a situation that she thought was not very positive for that young person, we would, okay, she would say, um, so-and-so is coming up this week to stay with us. And they would stay not for <laughs> a week, but stay for a very long time. A season. A season, a season in their time. And, and um, that is something um, in terms of family and how families help one another that we have come to appreciate. Um, Recently, you know that I mourned the loss of my nephew. Mm -hmm. And Minette, that funeral was a reunion. It was a reunion because I saw persons that I had not seen in like 10, 20, 30 years. And I said, why? They says, 
because of what your mother and your family represented to us in the community. And so it, it's significant. You don't know the impact that you have on persons. Until somebody dies? And yet, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, trying yeah. to do better than that. No, no we're yeah, to 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 bring, it, bring it out. Bring it out, lifetime. even during the person's yeah. lifetime. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. um, so my mother taught us, as I celebrate her this morning, the importance <laughs> of loyalty to family, friendship, kindness, and just giving a helping hand to individuals. She taught us also as children the importance. Yes, yes. Oh, you're, you're naming the music for her? Yes, that's uh, she's royal. royal. She's royal, yeah, yeah. She taught us the importance of, of sacrifice too um, in regards to um, what we do. So we were friends to all, and our home was always open. <laughs> and I'm just reflecting on some of the things that some of my siblings would have done and I would have done. And somehow after many years, it would come out. Cause what <laughs> number are you in the lineup again? I'm number four. So I'm the middle oh, so child. I'm the middle yeah. child. I'm the middle child. Oh. oh, yeah? Yes, I'm the middle child. Three above, three below. Huh. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. yeah, three above, three yeah. below. All right, so you're right in the... In the mix, one can't say you were innocent. <laughs> one can't say that I was innocent. No, 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 no. I got up to some practice. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have been an instigator. An instigator? Mm hmm. No, I was not an instigator. But, but I just you, celebrate you, you were led astray. You were led astray. <laughs> <laughs> some of the times uh, I do some things. But yeah. today, um, just celebrating family, but celebrating my mom mm -hmm. and saying to us as a nation, your those mom is value. An, your mom is an octogenarian now. Yeah, yeah she's so, 88 today. So, I mean, today. beyond even just honoring her on her birthday, this is no ordinary birthday. No, she is, yeah. she's 88. Yeah. She turned 88 today. So, you know, you didn't have to say a word about her virtues. You just had to say she's 88 because long life yes. is a blessing which God confers on those who have honored their own parents mm -hmm. and who have pleased them. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because 70 is guaranteed, but when you reach yeah. 80, strength of life. But then when you go beyond, you know, it is because. And mm -hmm. she, and we saw it. Um, yeah, it, it, it just, the thing of honor, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things we learned from our mom, even with, the family situation, the parents, and mm -hmm. he should always say to us, "He is your father. You need to to honor him, to honor him." And we've lost that in our country, in terms of <laughs> yeah. There's this weird idea that's been popularized about honor that people need to earn it. Yeah. It's, it's I hear so many people saying. Well, respect is an offshoot of honor. Mm -hmm. But I hear people saying it has to be earned. Respect must be earned. I'm like, where on earth did you ever get that from? Yeah. So those... What of God can we earn, Percy? Nothing. <laughs> Can't buy a thing from him. Yeah, so, so as we, we honor mm -hmm. Hazel this morning... Hazel. Hazel. The Emily. Yeah. Hazel is a flower? And is a nut. <laughs> Your mother is a nut. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Couldn't you have just gone with flower? <laughs> Hazel, Hazel. No, Hazel but our, our pet name was Blossom. Ah, see, I was in the vein. Yes, you were in the vein. So, I was in the vein. As Beautiful. We, yeah, but so today, just be reminded. Are we singing for her? What we're doing? Well, you know that I can't sing. So. Listen, for your mother, your, she, if she could hear you just... Melting it out, <laughs> it'd give her another 20 years <laughs> so she could hear it every year. But happy birthday, happy birthday, Miss Hazel. Hazel. Yeah, so we think but Morning Connection celebrates yeah. Hazel Palmer. What's her maiden name? Smith. She was a Smith, and she, was Smith. and she was related to the Queries, the Connection. So, is that an honorable mention? It is because um, there's a place where she's from. Uh -huh. where it's called Crary's Road. Where so is those that? people 
above rocks and beyond, yeah. That's Saint Elizabeth. No man. Where? Saint Catherine. Saint, Saint Catherine. Catherine. Saint Andrew. Saint oh. Catherine. Oh, is your dad who's from Saint Elizabeth? Yes, Where's right. Saint Elizabeth. Okay. And, um, Prattville, a place called Prattville. It's well, I man. must say, Crary Road does sound more distinguished than <laughs> Prattville. <laughs> In South Manchester, but we yeah. honor our parents, and I honor my mom today. Um, yeah. You know, some of the things that she would do, just volunteer service, I was just thinking about it. You know what my mom would do, uh-huh. even I celebrate? It's not that we had a whole lot of money, but the need for the street people. Is this like how Mr. Trump says, you know, he got a small loan from his dad? A million U.S. dollars. Yeah, I mean, I know you're going that's No, like when you say, we didn't have a lot of money. <laughs> just, trying, <laughs> just trying to get my gear. Right? <laughs> no, but <laughs> she would offer her <laughs> own resources on a Saturday, cook, and go out and feed the people mm. on the street. And my brother, who is... Who is is deceased. Is deceased would continue that for her when she was not able to do it. Mm. So even in in St. Catherine, Spanish Town, where we live for a significant time, they would know her and she would tell us some stories. <laughs> Sounds like you want to share one. Um, no, I just... I mean, well, you're laughing so hard. I'm, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear this story. <laughs> My mother had a rare sense of humor, you know, in terms of the interaction yes. with some of the street people. Yes, uh, yes. yes. And then, then she'd come back and tell us. But I just think about her and, and seeing her face and going, okay, uh, mm-hmm. that's my mom. So service to each other, love of neighbor, service to each other, those things. Who has picked up your mom's mantle? I think all of us. Oh, tear it up in several, six pieces. It, <laughs> no, <laughs> seven pieces, there. you know. Yeah, but we, we, we learned that. As, as children. Your brother who died was her child? Yes. So mm. six pieces then? No, seven. Is he among the seven? Yeah, he's about the seven, yeah. Mm. So seven, three above, two brothers and a sister. But he died. Oh, okay, all right. I'm just thinking of all of us. Oh, okay. No, I was saying the mantle, who picks oh, it up. Okay, uh, all of us, all of us, yeah. All of us have picked <laughs> it up, so yeah. I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Well, I was I was just seeing, you know. To <laughs> <laughs> uh, a person use a right so and took a knife to Yeah, but it. that's important and yeah. I just want to plant that thought in our heads, that thing that we need to care for one another. If we're gonna move forward, we have to think about our neighbor mm-hmm. as ourselves. And that's what it said, Jesus says, Fear me, but love your neighbor as yourself in terms of Think of it. What would I do? Love me. Yeah. If you love me, then you love your neighbor. You love love my own. Yes. So, Uh and that's it. So, as I celebrate moms, Miss Hazel, Miss Miss Blossom. So nobody calls her Mama, Mommy. What you called your mom? Mama Sita. Mama Sita. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Like Spanish? Yes. Mama Sita. Yes. Yeah. So, Mama. So as we think about the bigger family and a lot of things that are happening, we just need to um, remember that. Let's go back to those basic elements, even as we are at the beginning of this new year, in terms of friendship. Somebody pointed that in the chat yesterday, remember? About myself, that as couples, mm-hmm. being friend, yeah. friends with one another, it, it goes beyond. That keeps the relationship, the relationship going, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And just thinking about individuals. So I celebrate you today, my moms, moms, whatever. <laughs> All of us have different names for her um, as children, but she's our mother. And I think you can relate relate very much in terms of many I hear you speak about your mom and so on. Yeah. Yeah, because my mom is um, eighty-three. <laughs> so same generation of women who and and it, it also the example they set for you as parent and you mm-hmm. know leader in your own home mm-hmm. my mother she set such an example i don't think any of us can follow it quite frankly <laughs> they blaze a trail that in it, with 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 mixed family units and jamaica is famous for that mm-hmm. You know, you get married to a home where 
children are already there. in being. Mm -hmm. Yes. How to deal with it. And I dare say, even if a child were to mysteriously come as a blessing to <laughs> the father only, <laughs> how to deal with infidelity mm -hmm. in, in marriages and relationships and still be dignified and yes and, and loving and respectful and so on yes that's why is. i said some of those things because <laughs> i i really feel you know that i believe that there's a generation even now we look at what's happening with families mm -hmm. in the nation mm -hmm. there's a, a generation of people i won't say just jamaicans who they grow up learning the ropes by observing they're not that anybody sit and give long speech on how to do this or that. And Lowell risk lifting his hand because I hear him telling our son sometimes that my dad was very good at many things, but he never once said, now son, this is how you use this or do that. But he didn't chase you away if you just hung around watching. You would learn how to so do So you learn by, by watching. But what you don't learn in this observership relationship you don't learn how to articulate love and to do what we're told in deuteronomy mm -hmm. teach 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 talk about it in the field on the road going to and fro at night before they go to their bed speak speak because god is a speaking god mm -hmm. spoke the world into being right showing us all the time that your words have power Mm -hmm. to create and to nurture and to build we in jamaica for all our chattiness we don't do the important thing of teaching our children by teaching them right so so the generation of parents who learned from their parents through observing mm -hmm. did not acquire the skills of walking of and speaking of speaking and declaring things over their own children. We have such love in our hearts for so many people, but they don't know, which did make the point you made about, it's at the funeral now, when you know that so there's no more chance to say it, you're saying it out loud, not for the benefit of the departed, because they, that moment gone. They're dead. <laughs> you're now saying it in some public place for people who themselves may be so traumatized by grief, they don't even hear it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Too late. We do it while people live. So, so must speak and act. Absolutely. So I think some of the trauma which has led us to be so rebellious and out of control mm -hmm. in this time mm -hmm. comes from the parents of those who are acting out today not having spent the time speaking, teaching. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a talk show and people will call us and say, all the talking, talking. Time for talking. And each time I hear it, I say, but this is a talk show. If it's one place you're going to hear talking, it's here. <laughs> but beyond even that, disparaging the value of the spoken word and the power we of, can't disparage of the it. That word. is our God is. He's always speaking, and that's power. Is what we create hey. by the words that we speak. So, But you see, that is a, a, it's the deception of the enemy to have people believe that Speaking about a thing is a sign of laziness or um, lack of initiative or even lack of boldness. You better, before you touch anything, you better speak to it. You know, my, my, I have a sister who, for one reason or another, that is her faith. You see you fly? You in this kitchen bothering me? I want you out. <laughs> She speak to everything before she move. Everything. And I don't think she now that I'm 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 reflecting she's on it and I, I would call it. her by name, but she knows herself if she's listening, she may have a revelation in this moment about her effectiveness in certain areas. I don't think she consciously, you know, saying when I speak to it, I'm able to command it or I shift things in my atmosphere, I don't believe she goes about it. It's just her nature, and I think that's how God has set her, to speak to the thing. What's that smell? Smell in this house? All right. Me and you, you don't belong here. She rebuke everything. Are you serious? Yes. She learned it, yes. but she learned it and, well. And I, when I tell you, no, it's not like a 
you know, laying on the altar Christian. No, no. We all grow up knowing, but she understands something. She understands the power of her speech. Yes, man. When you hear her speak to things, uh, it's woman. comical even because I'm like, what if they ever answer her? <laughs> but you fly. know, but but the truth is, the the scientists are telling us now yeah. that even the things that we think are inanimate, inanimate. there's life in it. But it, listen, all right. So the scientists are the ones who are they're are late. They're, they're no, late but, at the party. We know that. We, we know, know that. that. But the, we know that. We, we know, know that. that. We know that. Yeah, they're late to the party, party because yeah, the, yeah, yeah. But they, they remember they, they are discovering what God has already spoken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I said and I set in place. Which is a great thing about science. We know why they explain how. Yes, 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 yes. And and the thing we have to resist is to be silent yes. until they do the explanation. Because right. so many times they set themselves up or we set them up as the f- authority. The end all. And they're not. And they are not. They are not. So when we recognize that. So, yeah, it's true. Because, boy... Just think, because your speech is creative because it comes from your thoughts. Mm-hmm. And if you're not thinking about something, you can't speak to it. And when we understand the power that God has given us in our speech, he says, he created things out of nature. He says, let there be light. And interestingly, you know, he said, let there be light before he created the sun and the moon mm-hmm. in terms of the account. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so, yeah. So the light of the sun and the light of the moon comes from the light, light which he created. created. Yes. Yeah, they are containers, the yeah. sun and the moon. A container. Just, God has just like how we are people of light. Mm-hmm. And we are light beings. Yeah, photons. Yes. More and more, if you got into the explanation, there's, yes. a, there's a guy. Because the, physics, the, the, the physicists are putting names to things which we sense. And know. And know. Because remember the experiment that you related to yeah. us about you want to just as uh, repeat it, it. repeat uh-huh. that uh-huh. experiment yes and and you know it really comes from th- the results of it were not on the subject matter being investigated it it was an accidental oh this happens too we are always curious about the impact we have on our environment and we have to be because one we are power mad so we want to know that we have power and two we always want to manipulate and shift things around so we can get better result, better performance. So scientists ran an experiment to see what impact man's DNA has on the external environment. They took a snippet of human DNA, put it in a controlled environment, in a vacuum, where the only thing that was present in the vacuum, because yes, we're debunking the idea that the invisible realm is not real. When you extract all air out of a space, Mm -hmm. still there is something that remains. So they observed that there were little particles of light, photons, which just just move about randomly because there is no intelligence guiding them. They're the smallest particles of the building blocks of life humanity whatever not just people but everything Light. trees mm-hmm. yeah photons and they were just colliding aimlessly in this vacuum this chamber then they introduce dna the human dna and notice that these photons immediately began to mimic the shape and formation of the human dna so bam they concluded oh the presence of mankind amongst things in the realm Fix it. has impact. Mm. We got the sign. We'll come back and then see the impact kind that of we're having <laughs> in the world. <laughs> the impact, the impact of, of words yes, on it. human DNA. Right, that was it. the second experiment. Take a break. Best FM, 100 on your dial. Keep this. 
It's Va. And Twyla. And we are here with what you need to know this week, week. With a Y. Come on! It's the first time we link up like this for the new year, don't. So, mm-hmm. happy new year, Twyla. <laughs> all the best for the season. Thank you, and all the best to you too, Vaughn. And now I'm just waiting for the foolishness you're going to bring now. Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. Foolishness? No, that's your name. No, sir. Okay. We left those things in 2023 now. For 2024, we're upon a new energy. And in the spirit of Cat Williams, we are now all about honesty and transparency. Oh, okay. So, you know, well, yeah. Interesting. You know, I would like you to continue. What are you going to be honest about in 2024, Bob? Well, honestly, yeah, I just want to say I honestly can't believe you really think more that changed my auntie ways in 2024. See I mean, if anything, I'll be doing it bigger and better, people. See yep. Mm-hmm. The show are going nice for 2024, is it? <laughs> Watch me and Mr. Ella this year. Stay tuned. <laughs> You're right, you know, because my 2024 resolution is to match energies with everybody. So, yeah, people, it's going to be a very interesting year this year. Okay, all mm-hmm. right. Well, mm-hmm. speaking of bigger and better, we've been promised bigger and better things in the healthcare sector this year, and I'm looking forward to seeing many of them play out. In his New Year's address, the Prime Minister mentioned that we should see the completion of the Cornwall Regional Hospital. And that is going to be a major game changer for the country. Having the Cornwall Regional Hospital back up and running fully would be a major plus in terms of improving overall access to healthcare. The PM also added that there are plans to expand the Spanish Town Hospital and build some specialized health centers in Portmore and Old Harbour. Mm. You know, so Portmore are my place, so I'm definitely happy about that, especially based on how the population keeps growing, you know? Yep, and the Prime Minister also talked about some initiatives to come on stream in the national security portfolio, which also sounded great. He said the government is going to introduce some social service responses to violence, which will include education and youth services, partnerships with social organizations, and media campaigns. Now, I support that. I'm going to take them for IIU as an ambassador for peacefulness. Them just need to put up some picture of your face and thing with the look where you always give me when you trouble you. Yeah, that look there. If that not make the bad man, them stopping at them shots. <laughs> I don't think anything will. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? If them study how I put up with you and your madness every week, they must find out of help people resolve violent conflicts in the country. So, researchers, find me. I'm very much available. Okay. <laughs> but on a serious note, people, we really have to put some more focus on living in love with one another. You know? mm-hmm. you know what I'm like the Prime Minister mentioned the other day, while a lot of the serious crime categories are going down, a lot of the domestic and interpersonal types of violence are going up. People are so quick to wound or injure each other over things that when you check it out, probably won't matter hours afterwards. Jamaica, they say, has a violence problem. And it's when you layer the guns and the organized criminal networks on top of that that it translates into into the crime problem we have now. So there will be a lot more concerted effort to promote peace. And I'm hoping the use of restorative justice, which has an 80% success rate and is just as legally binding as a court ruling. So do people try peace now? As I put on a Nike and a Louis V on a Gucci and on a body, put on some peacefulness and on a psyche, make it a trend on TikTok, yeah, please. Man. Please and thanks, right? So last thing to talk about, people, is that we should see some major improvements on the roads, as in enough of them out to get fixed, you know. The Prime Minister announced that they are going to spend $20 billion, with a B, to repair local and community roads across the country, and even better, the public will have a say in the roads that get fixed. So now is the time for go link up your MP or your councillor or whoever for go lobby for your preferred road. Me personally, I would hire a marching band and make a whole musical presentation with placards and fireworks and all that and something there, and then we'd serve some refreshments afterwards and we're done, you know? But that's that, that just me still, you know what I mean? I'm me alone when I do that, but you know. See the people? 51 more weeks of this to go. And yes, I am giving him the look we talked about earlier. See there? Anyway. You couldn't wait. Look a bit. Anyway, people, that's it for week today, guys. Got comments? Send an email to radio at jis.gov.jm. Or you can connect with us on X at JIS News. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at JIS Voice and interact with us on Facebook at Jamaica Information Service. So, until next time, until the next week, when Van is here to antagonize my soul, I'm Twyla. And I most certainly will be that guy. I'm Vaughn, reminding you that knowledge, knowledge is power, power, so stay, stay in the, the know. A production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica. Register click away. www.bestfm.com. Streaming live on the internet.
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. What should a taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted. It's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-382-528 or fax 754-3659. ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Do you need reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Milland. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. Is this the confusion you feel when trying to work your way through medical systems in Jamaica? Try a dose of Ask Dr. Mary every Thursday at 5 to 6 p.m. Let Dr. Mary help you understand your medical problems and bring you to a calmer place. <laughs> VidJam Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. VidJam Printers, your best choice in printing. Live, camera, volume. Live it up Fridays on Best 100 FM. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with I, Ibi Lion, each and every Friday. Giving you the better vibes heard everywhere. Goodness, mercy, it's me again, Lord. Your restorer, your game changer. Join me every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and Best FM 100. It's Apostle Clive Campbell, a.k.a. the Khaki Soup Man, coming to you from 8 to 12 Orange Street, also Richmond District, Mandeville. Embrace the change. No Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica, promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us 
Minette and Percy on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. <laughs> Welcome back to The Morning Connection. Today is the ninth day of January, a very significant day in my own life and in the life of Jamaica. What happened yesterday? Percival's mother. Oh, Percival had an anniversary. Yes. Thirtieth. Yes. Wedding anniversary, and he was out bright and early this morning. So, inquiring minds <laughs> want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they want what to you know. know. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going uh, to know, sister. But well, it was a good evening. Because yes. remember, we are on our or fast, you know. So. Okay, so no late night eating mm, is what you're none, saying. None of those things. All right. Um, I respect. Right. Um, yesterday, mm. we were talking about the DPP commenting on the lack of, what is it? Something court, the, reporters, court reporters. Court reporters. And saying they're going to create it's, a it's major thing. But, but what was significant is that she was interviewed on Sunday. Mm-hmm. To make trouble for the Chief Justice on <laughs> Monday. <laughs> You think that was a uh, setup? Well, for me, you know, I don't believe in coincidences. Right. So either the Glina call her or she called them. Oh, boy. But um, I tell you, yeah. The, the Chief Justice himself has raised an issue at the opening, the ceremony opening, the new um, session of the court, the Hillary, taking us to um, Easter. What's the difference? You have Hillary... Uh, Masuana, Christmas? No, Michael Mass. Michael Mass. Michael Christmas, Mas. Mas, yeah. yeah. Michael Mass, yeah. Hillary, and what's the final one? I don't remember the names. Okay. I remember Michael Mass and Hillary. Mm-hmm. One takes you up to Easter. Is it more than two? You have a, you have, you, oh, you think it's like the school terms? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like the school terms. Oh. You have the different um, terms. Um, well, he's... My reading of this gentleman, and he's of our ilk, because he was, when we were there, he was mm-hmm. there, actually. Um, he's really trying to pull the justice system <laughs> in terms of what they have to do, the, the justice, to bring them into the 21st century in terms of ensuring that... Um, Justice is the same for everybody. Is that your reading of the situation? Generally, in terms of his intent. Um, yeah, his he's um, he's a very result-driven kind of administrator. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that he... I shouldn't say it that way, because as a judge, what exposure I had to him, mm-hmm. he was big on timeliness of certain things both ec- demanding it from those who appeared before him mm-hmm. and um and giving it himself in terms of how he went through a period when i think maybe career wise he was weighing options and it seemed like he had slowed down a bit but then he has taken to the appointment as chief justice in a particular way um he's big on the use of technology mm-hmm. And he's big on administrative efficiency. Mm-hmm. Um, Which is important. And uh, that part of that efficiency is using the metrics that you would see in the corporate environment. Like, you know, um, what did they call it? It's something about time management. Mm-hmm. So watching a case key, from... Key performance indicators, yeah, from we it, call from it. it. From it hits the, 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 the Supreme Court registry. Mm. What should happen to a citizen's matter from it comes into the registry to when it is maybe in the bailiff's hand for enforcement or whatever the case might be, however it ends. But wanting to make sure that it is progressing through the system at a particular pace. Um, some that's important. Isn't it, that it's important? It's very important. It's very important. It, but in... What makes, well, every business, every industry has its sensitivities. So in the area of law and fo- of administration of justice, in the, you, you can't treat it, though, the way you would a loaf of bread 
being True. moving from flour to bread on the shelf. True. It the the way the the kind of military efficiency that you can apply to certain products. Mm -hmm. You can't apply it to services and you certainly can't apply it to justice. Mm -hmm. So that is the, the greatest criticism that I think he may have to endure because he has to exercise his judgment on what takes the priority. So I think now he's in a he's reacting to a history of backlog of cases um, judges not being timely in the delivery of their decisions. But that's important, um, isn't it? It is important, but what, what I'm saying is when you come to the job, mm -hmm. you come to a job, some, many had it before you. Mm -hmm. So there is a history that you have to contend with or a legacy of those who were before you that you have to contend with. I have to clean, have to clean out the stables. You remember so, that? Oh, <laughs> drain the swamp. Yes. <laughs> drain, drain the swamp. So... So you come and you, the field is set because you're not the first one in the chair. Right. So you always have to decide how much of my approach to the job is going to be based on, is going to be driven by the legacy mm -hmm. that confronts me, or how much of it is going to be me reshaping it in a way that suits the objectives, the future. Where am I taking it? And I think if you see it with government when power change hand and new administration take over and you, they, they spend for of a five year term, they will spend two years. Two years reversing and throwing out what the the, the other side did to show that I'm in charge. What you, ah, and what I was saying when I was opposition, this is what I'm gonna do waste of time and money if you ask me yeah because, because but, but the, even we talk about waste of time and money it's so important it is so so very key because when you change up like ministries mm -hmm. and all of the that's yeah, you that's a whole heap of money you know you you change letterheads you, you change, change buildings you, you change up staff yeah. i mean you, you it's a whole there's a cost to it and and the only objective of what you're doing is to show that you are you are in charge now. And you're doing something. You run all kind of litigation. Now I'm not saying that some of these things, but if you go in and you say, "I want to purge the system so it functions without any contamination," that's good. Without and that's your corporate. focus. You can be doing that. How you put it? That will occur organically as you make your your own moves but you can't start off with a motivation to show that you're in charge now you know but that is important um because as the head even you talk about corruption um and how you deal with it in a system you know if the man at the top mm -hmm. the message go out and say don't even bring that to him you know it, it sets just, the tone it sets the tone which is yeah. important because even in terms of somebody who's close to me, um, that they, they, they interact with people, and, and the person said, never bother go down the road, they go talk to him, because he knows he's not going to do that. So they, they, they stay mm -hmm. far, which is, that is why leadership is so important. That's why it's important. If, and, and, and I want us to, to get that, you know, we talk about how do we fix corruption in this country? No, we don't talk about that. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Nobody wants to fix corruption. We want to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, when I'm fixing something, I'm getting rid of it. That's okay. Really? Yeah, man. You fix your car, you're getting rid of it? In that sense, no. <laughs> I know. Uh, in that sense, no. But to, to get rid of corruption in this country, mm. it starts with the head. Start with leadership and what they will allow or not allow. Because... It so it, it may seem like I was messing with you because I don't I don't want to give the impression that I'm just some school teacher with a sharp pen, but we spoke earlier about um, communicating and speaking and and teaching mm -hmm. through our language, this our spoken language, mm -hmm. and the reason I was uh, and sometimes I do um, push you on on just the articulation of things, it's because you how do you set the tone. When you take charge of your first meeting, like in the days when I served on government boards, the minister would, we would 
always have a session where the minister delivers a charge to the board. And policy. And sets the tone. Mm -hmm. And if you as a, as a, a chairman of a board Honest. don't get that, mm -hmm. whether he comes and does it in open session or you sit and say, well, I want to know what are you seeking to accomplish with this board? How are we supposed to, supposed to function mm -hmm. and how do we fit into the overall scheme of the vision for what you're doing as minister? If you don't get that, you are left sort of, well, waiting to get daily instructions, if that's how it, it flows. And or you're left with your own imagination. Yeah. Or you're left with the staff. Anything them do, you just become kind of a, a rubber stamp of wh wherever things, things um, go. Mm -hmm. So the point you made about setting the tone, if you as a leader don't communicate clearly, this is who I am. You do it two ways. Your spoken word. Your people action. write it down then you confirm it by your actions and they know they don't mess with that don't bother yeah. and, and for and example about you i know you're a new justice of the peace mm -hmm. i know do not send nobody to percival for a recommendation when you really don't know them you know that they know and that. the recommendation need to say i have known so and so for two years then no send me now go do that that they never come people have tried and i said but me know the person and i said to them you know you know what is the only thing that I have in my integrity. Something yeah. that the better come. Yeah. Whereas I it was just as we talk about, I was talking to a friend who know and him said, There's a just at the peace who's close team. And him say, everyone in the body got him. I say, mm, say, yeah. Yeah, because feel. it becomes and it becomes a standard. Yeah. So you know how I would feel if I were to do something which I know breaches your personal rules? My concern would be that I'm communicating to Percy mm -hmm. that I am the kind of person mm -hmm. who would do so and so. Yeah. I don't even, beyond just embarrassing you with something that you have to say no to, I would be telling you something about me mm -hmm. that, you know, got to be careful with Minette because when I send something to you, you, you now can't be sure that Minette has done the work of ensuring that this is above board and, and proper. Mm -hmm. So I'd be telling you something about myself. And when you, when, when you look at it that way and see everything you do as speaking something about who you are, you'll be a lot more careful. About the things that yeah. you say. And there's, a, an expert, there's a statement that was accredited to Prime Minister Patterson. Mm -hmm. I don't know it is, if it is... Um, true or just one of the stories that make the rounds but he was quoted as saying um, when asked about his he listens I observe this about him he listens his listening is active mm -hmm. that's true he's saying nothing but he might listen to you what I say. but he listens in a way that you are careful in what you say and I, I with the story is told at once when questioned about you know his attitude of listening he said my my silence cannot be misquoted that's true. That that is. I remember that too. You remember? Okay. Yeah, man, so it's, it's true. It's, it's it's told often. I don't know if it's really him. It may have been said, someone else. I, I but, remember reading about it. Yeah. Actually. It's yeah, a, yeah. But that. Nobody can answer me. Say, can me not say nothing at all. So yeah. so when you speak, you've got to say what you really mean. It's you are you are comfortable if somebody quote you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You don't say things which can easily... Live. Of course, you know, that doesn't give you a defense against liars. Um, there, are, there are persons who will outright, but sometimes even your silence. I say, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you <laughs> constrain to mean something else. Yes, man, you're speaking silence. Can and, be I, and I don't true, want us to miss what we're speaking about. We're talking about the Chief Justice and what he's doing. But we can use that same principle and apply it to all eras of public life. You set the tone for what it is that your people report to you will do or will not do. And so that is why you see, and I'm glad you corrected me, get rid of corruption, not fix it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're not fixing the corruption. No, we get rid of corruption, we're not fixing it. And that is why we it we are in 2023 
2024? 2024, yes. Mm. In 2023, the Prime Minister returns to the Integrity Commission. Cannot be gazetted for two years running. Mm -hmm. And we're in the third year when it will become due pretty soon. And and I said it when we last week I says in their New Year's <coughs> messages mm -hmm. he was speaking about all of the things they were going to do. He and he cannot be misquoted on the uh, issue of corruption. John Ryan. That he was silent. It it is the elephant uh, that is in the room for all of us as Jamaicans. And now we are beginning to understand that it is something that will not go away. It is something that is impacting us as Jamaicans, not only Jamaicans local, but Jamaicans overseas. And, and I'm saying this because when you hear different commentators and our recent inductee into the PSOJ Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame Howard mm -hmm. Mitchell, who works, <laughs> who has been an advisor to both sides, saying that we need to fix that. We need to fix it. And, 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 and even as we, well, the headline is we're being stonewalled. But it was in reference to um, Maroon Chief Curry, um, who was complaining about being frustrated about lack of communication from government and opposition. Are the Jamaican people being stonewalled in regards to the Integrity Commission and what needs to happen with um, the whole thing of corruption? It's not going away. What do you think? Are we being stonewalled? Yes. Um... Are we just hoping that it will just fly away? Well, it, it's true. Oh, oh, oh. That's, a, that's a tough one because um, being stonewalled would mean someone with authority and capacity has erected an obstacle or an obstruction which prevents you from moving forward to your desired goal. And it's made of stone. <laughs> so, who has created an obstruction that would keep us from Is it moving our forward. With the, you um, said it in the Integrity Commission. The two reports have gone. We don't mm -hmm. hear it. We don't yeah. hear something fly from it from last year. Yeah. Is it a stonewalling, though, is what I'm thinking about. Because, see, there's a flow to things, and uh, there's a flow, a process, uh, that way that things will go which can be delayed or expedited depending on the hands at the wheel. I think right now an unacceptable delay is being um, imposed, but I believe it's one of those moments where the nation will learn something that it can address. Those who uh, have the ability and are watching it should know that as we go into constitutional reform, we have to be mindful that these arrangements, putting the power, putting the fate of the canary in the hands of the cat can work. Canary in cat? Yes. <laughs> I know canary is not a local bird, <laughs> but that, I, everyone knows the expression but, but, about but, the cat and the canary. But, or puss and butter. How is that? Uh, that's a, but, that's but, a good but one. A, but, uh, but a puss and butter? Yes. Yeah, okay. Because you have an an you have a, a an agency whose job it is to scrutinize the behavior of the very body that it reports to that will not end well for someone we yeah. saw it the ombudswoman <laughs> scholar that the, her position just disappear mm -hmm. because the very people she is set to um scold <laughs> didn't take the scolding too well. And there's an altar here with we're you. At, we're at 7.30. We're at the 7.30 hour, so I, we will take the station break. But we're going to come back to it because um, understanding the power we have and working ourselves out of that place of frustration and powerlessness is critical. I see what's going on with, with Chief Curry, and there's much I could say to him, but um, 
off air, you and I can speak on it because I see what's happening to him. And there's a way out of that box he's in and it's his responsibility to find it. It, it does require humility on both sides of that stone wall. Mm. Our prime minister and the chief. Mm. Take the break. Calling a court appointed mediator. <laughs> Register a click away, www.bestfm.com. Streaming live on the internet. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. For the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted. It's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 7543659 ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Do you need reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Woodland. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. Is this the confusion you feel when trying to work your way through medical systems in Jamaica? Try a dose of Ask Dr. Mary every Thursday at 5 to 6 p.m. Let Dr. Mary help you understand your medical problems and bring you to a calmer place. <laughs> Vetam Print is for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vetam Printers, your best choice in printing. Live, camera, volume. Live it up Fridays on Best 100 FM. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with I, Ibi Lion, each and every Friday. Giving you the better vibes heard everywhere. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Best, 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 best. 
Good morning and welcome back. You are listening to The Morning Connection on Best 100 FM. We are right here in the cool climbs of Kingston, Jamaica. How was it for you this morning, Percival, coming down? Bustling? No, it was smooth. There were yeah. some buses that were racing, but it was oh. all right. It was smooth. Uh, it was bustling. Buses, the buses were it racing. It was bustling. <laughs> but I mean, I was thinking of the temperature, the climate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit chilly. Yes, it's still. I was looking at one of the. Lowell pulled up the Morning Connection episode from last year, 8th of January or whatever. Yeah. And man, there I was in a thick sweater. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. The AC was new. <laughs> what? Whatever it was, I was <laughs> looking. I was looking quite snug in a sweater. I was trying to remember because there were times when. I recall wearing, um, you know, trying to keep warm in the studio. It hasn't been so for a long time. Mm, that's strange. All right. So it's this normal. issue between a compound town, Maroon Chief Curry, and the leader. But he says it's not just um, government. It's also government opposition. So as far as he's concerned, he has his January 6th um, celebration for years and years and years. Representatives of the Jamaican government would be a part of it. Mm -hmm. stand podium, make speeches, whatever. Um, since he and Mr. Holness squared off, it has not been so. In fact, the year when we did um, a, a broadcast from there, mm -hmm. it was with the police manning the points of entry and Jamaican government having issued um, an edict that it would be an offense for Jamaicans to cross the border and participate. But this was during pandemic times. And one might say, okay, it was a matter of public health and safety. But here we are going, what, two years since? Mm -hmm. This would be the 2nd January since that occasion. And he is saying here that he has issued invitations, sought to engage with Jamaica proper, and nobody showed up, not opposition, and not the government. So it seems like Prime Minister Holness's plea for unity with the PNP has achieved some measure of success because they did they both did the same thing. They ignored or did not show up or whatever. I don't I believe if they sent apologies and something, he would be saying that he would be reading something from them or somebody would have brought it. But I think that's his terrible that is terrible and in his the fullness of his speech which seemed to be a good speech by the way if you're looking for something to fire up the masses in the in his speech he hints at the fact that what is happening here is no different from the place the point of origin of the dispute you see between israel and palestine other places around the world where there is even, let's say, Venezuela. He hints at it. He doesn't call the names of these countries. Mind you, this is Minette editorializing because when I read what he's saying, he's saying to Jamaica, don't think, don't take this lightly. Don't think that this is um, a, a storm in a teacup because the Jamaican government have their eye on the wealth and the resources in Maroon, in cockpit country, in their territory. The minerals, the 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 bauxite, to be specific. The, the base says there's um, gold, there's copper, there ah, are earth elements here, right. they have sought after it. It's not a joke. It's not a joke, says he. So so now you're looking at big Jamaica turning predatory eyes on a compound, which is within our borders. And to start, I, I'm going to quote Lowell always say, before a man does something terrible to you, he has to convince himself that he is right and that you deserve it. So it looks like Jamaica is sizing up a compound for a predatory attack. You know, the snake that is clinging to you or just eyeing you from a cold distance, mm. trying to decide how much time he will need to um, digest you. And he's, he's foreshadowing something ominous coming from this side. And the fact that both the opposition and the government have taken the same stance maroons for supper <laughs> maroons for supper mm -hmm. breakfast lunch please bear in Dinner. mind you know this morning the language of it is so fierce 
when Joshua was defending God's direction for them to take possess the land of, of Canaan, ten spies had reported that, oh, the people big and the places the yeah, giants in the land even giants in the land a lion in the streets they came <laughs> to back. quote proverbs they came back with the, the producer and they said oh this is great mm -hmm. and then and two the, men carrying a bunch of grapes yeah that's a big grape you know? those yeah. are Huge. those what would those be what fruit <laughs> it was grapes, jackfruits <laughs> probably <laughs> <laughs> no when you think about it if if a bunch of grapes had to be carried by two men each grape must have been the size of a jackfruit. A jackfruit can easily weigh 25 pounds. No? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, giant grapes. Mm -hmm. They brought it back. And 10 of the 12 were terrified. We can't handle this. This is more Chance than... Chance in the land. We are just... We just come off... Grasshoppers in there. Yeah, we just came off the, the, the plantation. The only thing we know to do is dig a hole and set the cane in it. Or how do you plant cane? You dig a hole? Mm -hmm. There you go. Although I saw a video with the people planting cane in a triangle, like anyway, be that as it may, it's not Thursday, so it's not free flowing. But ten of twelve gave a negative report. And two said, Come "Two on. said Let's this is a place flowing with milk and honey, and right for the taking." What was interesting to me, I there was a part of it, of course, I'm being motivated by Joshua's speech now because all of us need to take our territory. The other day when um, African raised something on air with me and I said, well, the Lord has given it to you. Go and possess the land. So when the Lord give you something and it is for you to go possess the land, but people are there. It's not empty land. So, so it is with the Maroons now. The Maroons understand what is coming to them. Small group of, of people, no more than a couple thousand people. Jamaica is not no big. Um, in On the world stage, we're not big in numbers or even landmass. But to the Maroons, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Easily overwhelmed. I see um, what is... is it's playing out. Yeah, what is playing out. Um, so... The Maroon chief is currently seeing that the possibility of Jamaica government building up the resolve to push past any treaty, any objection, any resistance which may be offered, they are seeing that that can easily happen and they see the first signs of it being a distancing of self from public celebrations. No one from opposition came. No one from government came. And he's saying to his people... Get ready. Well, how, what do you do? I mean, is he going to raise an army and fight? <laughs> <laughs> and the not. UN, the United Nations, have said to him, which makes no sense... The United Nations have said to him that he must. He, let me tell you what he what he Fix says. Out in order. What he says, the UN, them get his house in order, and and build a bridge of communication with people who are not answering your your letters or taking your calls. The UN told us last year, fix the house, get the thing right. You're there, you're recognized, you have a treaty. Get the people on board. I've been doing that, he says, but the hands that play keep my brothers and sisters far away from me. He calls out the Rastafarians. He says, in your time of trouble, we were refuge to more than 300 Rastafarians. But, I mean, I don't know how, how much authority or power the Rastafarians have to budge the government in their place of intransigence. It really rests on the leadership of the Jamaican government to recognize that there has to be a path forward that is forged in peace with mutual respect, love, and the kind of um, respect and justice. Mm -hmm. well, that's why I said a court-appointed mediator. So just tongue in cheek, you think? Well, for a, and what which which court? Because They're not a they have filed a suit. Okay. They filed a suit in yeah. the Jamaican court, remember? Internationally? Or no, the rest, the, remember that I think is, I don't call the name, 
but I'm trying to remember the attorney who f there's a suit that the Maroons filed against the government of Jamaica in the Jamaican courts. Okay, yes, I remember. Yes. Mm. So there's always a question of submission and authority, you know. I, call, I, sue, I sue you in your court. Mm -hmm. What are the chances that that court is sufficiently independent justice to give me to give me justice against itself <laughs> wow so anyway that's there is there's work for him to do and there's work for our own um prime minister to do but let's understand now that if the rest of jamaica believe that there's gold in those hills and that gold will work for the benefit of all of us, mm. they're gonna walk roughshod over the Maroons. They're gonna push them out of the way to get to it. You mean you're gonna have a remember in the in California gold rush? The go go like that <laughs> 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 and because of a gold rush. And a compound gold rush. Oh Lord help us. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. It's kinda so unfortunate though. There's work to be done. Because I see where I too see where it is going, and I—I I mean, when I had and some involvement in it, I felt it could have gone to a better place. But you see, all of us are gonna learn the lesson, not by might or by power, but by the spirit of God. Mm. I, I remember I spoke about JFF yesterday, where yes. one man said, "Yeah, I am a hundred and ten percent confident of returning to office." Well, D days on Sunday on the fourteenth. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. To all those vying to take new territory, mm. I have a scripture for you. Go ahead. If the Lord is pleased with us, this is Joshua explaining that despite the um, size advantage, mm -hmm. it is their time to take the land. And I'm saying now to those who are standing on the threshold of possessing their territory, it begins this way. If the Lord is pleased with you, he will lead you into that land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and he will give it to you only. Do not rebel against the Lord. So that's the first instruction for Chief Corey and Mr. Holness. And do not be afraid of the people of the land. Because we will devour them. That's the, that's the scripture I wanted to get to. The one with whom the Lord is pleased. Mm -hmm. The one to whom he has given the territory. Mm -hmm. You, my beloved, will devour whomever stands between you and your victory. The Lord says so. But then Joshua explained it too because he had the revelation that it was their time. We who are reading scripture at this stage know that earlier on when the promise was first given, it says for 400 years your descendants will be kept away from this land until the sin of the Amorites reach the full measure. The cup full up. When the cup full. So the Lord is not going to lead you to take something that you don't deserve and that is not truly yours. And, and a word that says, in the fullness of time. Fullness of time. So there's a sense in which you have to understand timing. Yeah. Timing is important, mm -hmm. you know. And you were on it last week. The, the timing of God is important. So first, you can't rebel against the Lord. You must do it His way in accordance with His will and systems. You will indeed devour those that stand between you and your victory. And Joshua explain it in case you don't readily get how you will be um, assured of your victory. Their protection is gone. But the Lord is with us. Do not be afraid of them. This is my, this is my word for me. <laughs> <laughs> God's word for me, but me claim it. And I am putting it out there this morning. Numbers chapter 14. And this is from verse 8. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land. It took 40 years for the Lord to be pleased, you know. Because he had to dead out. Because, because he had to purge. He had to die. He had, had to had drain to... the swamp. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why earlier I said, take the, for the, like, the, the chief justice approaching his new task. He has to look at 
what is there and decide how he's going to get to the place of victory. Mm-hmm. And whilst addressing the weaknesses and the challenges and, and the doing challenges. it in a way yeah. that is not. Well, you can't rebel against God. Yeah. And you have to understand. I, and God's I, way is the way of peace and love and. and and, and and as James say, ask for the wisdom. Uh, yeah. That wisdom. It's 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 kind of a um impactful and interesting that when if you lack the wisdom, James says this is what it must do. This is how it it, it, mm-hmm. it works itself out. These this are is the markers. The, this is what is experience. And and I have learned that if you are trying to get ahead and is a whole heap of division and cascas, it don't make no sense. It it at the end of it, somebody is going to harbor thoughts of mutiny. Mutiny, not beyond <laughs> mutiny, but getting back at you. Um, yeah. yeah. So, but if you can bring about change in a way that is peaceable, and at the end of it, everybody is happy, everybody is in a win-win situation. That is how it must go. What do you think? I agree with you. And, I and agree with you. Um, subject to one comment, though, because. When things are happening in the flow and in the will of God, it's not a democracy where everybody will be consulted and everybody's viewpoint will, will give them some measure of satisfaction. But it will happen in a context where man will know that this is it. My sheep know my voice. Those who are hearing what the Lord is saying, they will know that he has spoken because it is the authority of God that compels our obedience. We don't, when is man and man mixing up and trying to Fix. run election and do things? The process determines the outcome. And even when the process, some of us sat, shake hand and said, this is the process. When the process don't give us the desirable outcome, there are still men and women who set up a fight. They run petitions. They do like what Mr. Trump did. You try to take it by force. So even when we agree that we're going to be bound by a process, we can sometimes rebel. But under the rule of God, in the order of God, it is the authority of God that commands our obedience. And those who fall outside the ark, those who are rebelling, and those who feel like the result should be otherwise, what did Gamaliel say? If it is of God. It, li- it, it survived. Yeah, if, if it is it, not, it will it, not. Death is what accompanies your rebellion. So with that slight modification, because some of the things that we're seeing here is just man and man are trying to do them thing where you're, you did say to you, at gimmicks. <laughs> yes, I give. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a lot of the things, you know, even the, 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 the squaring off between Jamaica and a compound, let me put it that way and not personalize it. It's just people trying to get an upper hand. You see, when they engage the Spirit of God, mm-hmm. it got flow in a different way. So for me, when I see things going a particular way, you know, is who get to God first? <laughs> <laughs> who get to God first? No, when you say who get to God, who understand what the mind of God is in the situation? Yeah. Oh, yeah. because it, yeah, it makes it sound like you run for God. No, but so don't the, you run for your refuge yeah, I when know, things but are going? I say, hey, Percy, yeah. I make no joke about it. And I said all the time, this is my testimony. When the government of Jamaica had their foot on the neck of my company and me personally, <laughs> I said, Lord, where do I go? And he showed me where to go. No, no, I said that to know because even they say we run to God first. When Joshua was about to go into the land, mm-hmm. he saw... The angel standing. And he marks one question. Him, mm-hmm. said, no, no, no. It's not. He said, are you for us or are you for us or against us? And what us? was his response? I'm the Lord with the Lord's army. Yeah. So you better join with what God is doing. There you go. That's so what who, it is. Yeah. You better join. Yeah. If you think that, no, God says, no, I know what my purpose and plan. So you come join with me. I'm not join with you. The, 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 so it, that's, why I went, that's why I put it that way. Because when you see that things are going in a particular way and nothing that you do with your knowledge and skill can impact it. Mm-hmm. This is the, f- the surest sign. 
that God is doing something and your job is to go discover what he's doing and align yourself with him so he will fight for you. That's so important. I was saying to Lowell this morning, that question that everybody likes to ask. Six people in a race, each of them praying to God. Mm-hmm. Which, Which one? one? Yes. And it's I a question that, that those who have issues of faith with which they are contending like to ask. Mm-hmm. And we had three, we discussed three answers, Lowen and myself. The first one, he's with all of them. Because if you're made in the image of God, mm-hmm. he's with you. The second one, answer, he's with none of them. Because if everybody's in a state of rebellion, <laughs> they're on their own. <laughs> okay. The third answer was, he is with the one whose failure or victory will bring glory to his name. Hmm. So that's one. The one that would bring glory will whose bring... failure or victory will, will bring, bring glory to the name of that's God. That's the person he's with. He, that's, that's where. If you want to find God, you look for the one who's manifesting his glory. You want to know where he is. Look for the markers of his presence. Because where the presence of God is the glory of God will manifest. We're just talking about it because people like to, um, in, in, in trying to understand the ways of God, they like to pose questions. That's m- questions that are meant to tease out the complexities of it. It's a question that I find, it's kind of like a question in philosophy. Mm-hmm. That allows you to, to, to stand above the question and look at it from different vantage points. Mm-hmm. So coming down, you know, we're looking at the, the three possible answers, any of which would be right. But if you had to grade them, the last one is the one that takes priority in my heart. The one whose victory or whose failure will bring glory to God. Because you may think that God is always with the victor. Not. It would be a mistake to think that the person who comes out ahead by your Reasoning measurement and understanding. Yeah, is the victor. And many times I've looked at situations and persons have even called me a loser in those situations. No one has called me a loser to my face, but in in rehashing things, you know, persons will say, Well, you did that and it failed. And the word failure has its plain meaning. Mm-hmm. So they'll say you did that and it failed and that and it and that and like oh hmm, that's a track record, but in all these things you gotta remember that man looked at Christ's crucifixion as a victory. I killed him, mm-hmm. I got him out of the way, mm-hmm. and the devil felt he had succeeded. But he didn't. But he hadn't. Mm-hmm. Because the ultimate thing is. What will bring honor and glory to God? That's mm-hmm. the so. If you want, as you have said, you look in a situation, you and saying, because I've been in situation, you think you really lose, but then when you see things that happen after, they say, "Oh, that was my glory. victory back there. It, I need to celebrate it, it, this victory." It will, it will, it will grow. Yeah, it will, it will cause it to happen, and yeah. so, yeah. So there's a, there's a, another another um another factor in the, the assessment too is. When do you determine victory? Because if you use a race and the race has ended and a man has crossed the line first, you would say, yes, that's a sure sign. Mm -hmm. But then there's a process of appeal. Mm -hmm. And you might even say, all right, the medal is firmly around that one's neck. Really? But the appeal hasn't happened yet. Look at these, uh, these athletes who lost their medal years later when it come out that there was drugs and whatnot. And they've get and they've gotten Benal's back as a result. So I mean it it when you begin to make the assessment, you truly have to be versed, knowledgeable on the ways of God and the word of God to have that understanding so you don't speak too early. Time for the break? We'll be right back. You're
Success FM, 100 on your dial. Keep listening. Hello, I'm Emily Thomas with the BBC News. The European Union's climate change service, Copernicus, has confirmed that 2023 was the warmest year ever recorded. For almost half of the year, the average daily temperature was more than 1.5 Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Justin Rowlatt reports. The first few months of 2023 were pretty unexceptional in terms of global temperatures. That changed in July, when the world began a remarkable and almost unbroken streak of daily air temperature records. 210 days set a new daily global temperature record, according to BBC analysis of the data from the EU climate organisation Copernicus. Two days in September breached two degrees above pre-industrial levels. That is another first, and there's unlikely to be any respite this year. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, says he has a lot to discuss during a day of talks in Tel Aviv as Israel continues its offensive in Gaza. In a meeting with President Isaac Herzog, Mr Blinken again emphasised the need to do everything possible to minimise harm to civilians in Gaza. Saudi Arabia's ambassador to the UK, Khalid bin Bandar al Saud, told the BBC the fighting must end. The unprecedented level of the violence that's been carried out by both sides, but in particular by what is meant to be a responsible state in Israel over the last three months. I mean, I don't think I've seen anything like it in my life. Over 20,000 people killed, almost 10,000 children. I mean, the numbers are, they're deplorable. France has a new prime minister, Gabriel Attal, who's 34, was appointed to the role by President Emmanuel Macron. Mr Attal will be the youngest prime minister in French history and also the first who's openly gay. The appointment is being seen as an attempt by the president to breathe new life into his government. Polls suggest it's been losing support. Russia has charged a US citizen with producing and selling illegal drugs. Robert Woodland, who's 32, was arrested and provisionally detained for two months, according to a court in Moscow. Here's Paul Moss. The charges are serious. The illegal acquisition, storage, transportation, manufacture and processing of drugs. If he's found guilty, Robert Woodland could end up sentenced to 20 years in a Russian prison. He was born in Russia, but had been adopted and raised by an American family. Some reports suggest he'd been back in Russia for a while, living just outside Moscow and working as an English teacher. The Russian authorities are currently holding several U.S. citizens. Critics say they are, in effect, hostages used as bargaining chips to secure the release of Russians jailed overseas. World News from the BBC. Taiwan briefly issued a nationwide alert on Tuesday after China launched a rocket carrying a satellite that flew close to the island. The Taiwanese government said it hadn't been warned in advance of the launch. The authorities on the island are on high alert ahead of a presidential election on Saturday. Animal rights groups in South Korea have welcomed a bill to ban the breeding and selling of dogs for their meat. One activist said the country had reached a tipping point where most Koreans rejected eating dogs and wanted such suffering to be consigned to the history books. Barami Sir is from Humane Society International Korea, an organisation that works to protect animals. She explained why it was important to end the dog meat industry. There is a, almost a factory farm facilities throughout the whole country. And so the dogs are raised in those farms. I say farms, but like it's just basically the empty land and there are cages and they are not given any sort of welfare. They are not even given like proper food. So they are given human food leftovers and no water. So the suffering is like very visible when you visit those farms. The police in Ecuador say four of their officers have been kidnapped after a state of emergency was declared on Monday. Three were seized in the coastal city of Machala. Another was abducted in Quito. The security forces had been deployed on the streets and in prisons following the escape from jail on Sunday of Ecuador's most powerful drug lord, Adolfo Macias. The company behind the first US mission to attempt to land on the moon in half a century says a touchdown on the lunar surface is no longer possible. The firm, Astrobiotic, Astrobotic, says the spacecraft is leaking fuel, making it hard to control. The problem had already interfered with its solar panels, preventing them from being pointed towards the sun. The company estimates that a day's worth of fuel remains. 
World News from the BBC. <laughs> Register to click away. www.bestfm.com. Streaming live on the internet. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good, be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted, it's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-3825-8 or fax 754-3659. ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Vijan Print is for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968 7506. That's 968 7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vijan Printers, your best choice in printing. on health and education, inspiring interviews, surprise giveaways, your favorite songs. Tune in to Best 100 FM this and every Sunday at 11.30 to 12 noon. It's Distinction 411, your weekly college magazine program hosted by James and the Distinction family. Catch you on Sunday. Greetings, brothers and sisters. I invite you to join us for the Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ radio program with Elder Kendrick Murray, where we stand firm that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. This broadcast is heard every Saturday from 12 noon to 1 p.m. and again on Sundays from 4 to 5 p.m. The church is located at 3550 Pleasant Valley Road here in Mobile, Alabama in the United States. You may visit our website at sonofgodlives.org or our YouTube page at Minister K. Murray. Or you may call us at air code 251-300-8812. God bless you, and we look forward to you tuning in to the program. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica, promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Good morning and welcome back. We are at that stage of our program when we hope to interact with you, have a discussion on the matters that are at hand, the numbers to call. You know them, 876-619-1508 and 876-279-8473. As we open the lines, please be reminded, we've gone through, of course, celebration of Percival's uh, mother's 88th birthday. She has made it to the honorable age of an octogenarian. And um, what is the, 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 the meaning of long life? One, is it a blessing? Are we in Jamaica? There's a movie, you know, with a very provocative name, No Country for Old Men. Is remember Jama- that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you remember, remember that, that movie? Yeah, man. Yes. Mm. Is Jamaica a country for the old? Are we embracing them, caring for their needs? What say you? We know that Percival and his family venerate and Mother you do Hazel. Too. You do, you well, do too. My, certainly, my, I have an octogenarian too. It's a blessing when you can um, actually be a part of your, your, your mother or your father, or whomever is senior in your family. Good morning and welcome to the Morning Connection. Be a part of your, your, your mother. Morning, top lady. Good, Good morning, morning to Mr. you, my Dave. brother. How are you, sir? Morning. Okay. Okay, giving thanks. So what you think I'm on the same long life minute? <laughs> well, every time someone wish me long life, I say, please, with the resources to sustain myself. <laughs> so long life in and of itself, I am not interested unless my friends are here and I have the money to afford good health care and to buy so food. Obsessing. That's true, that's true. Yeah. But, you know, I it is a blessing. Well, the sense is that you know, really want good people just depart from us so soon. Yes, yeah, yeah. And and, and when so it's your parents, you know, they're never too old to die. That's true. Never I really. I do like last week Saturday and the service of the old man too, man. The two of my cousins are just tears from their mind. But I'm saying need these people are around to really guide us and I think one of our problems in Jamaica we don't have the right we don't have a lot of the right people guiding us and you can't see it reflect or you can't see it from the society mm. or is it that we have put them to one side and said we don't need them to be a part of the process because I know a lot of persons recently retired from private or public sector we want to give back but they, mm-hmm. there's not, not a place welcomed. there's not a place for them to to contribute to give back with us it's called ageism mm-hmm. you tell them go home mm-hmm. your time up your time up old man go home but you see there's something i've learned with experience that some of the times when somebody come up with a brand new idea as a young person said this work and then somebody say oh that was we tried that right but it didn't work so you can guide them and mm-hmm. say if you taper it this way it probably will work yeah so well, in, in, I mean mm-hmm. it's true you know because all we deal with our elderly and you have a country like Japan or you have some country you can't disrespect them see you know you cannot mm-hmm. and all we deal with our elder mm-hmm. the level of resentment and and all we care it's true mm-hmm. because because our level of ignorance, we don't realize that these people have the knowledge and the wisdom for guide us. Because when you have people who are on the circle force and they are exposed and they do their experiment and get the results, then naturally you have to learn from them. Sure. We can not learn from people who born yesterday. No. So when me as a youth grew up on to the hell of them. I was I each up beside them because mm-hmm. I said to myself, these people have the knowledge and them are so look boy I move from here, but nothing I disrespect the way we we disrespect our scene the police beat, the people we expect better, old man move from here, so old boy, old girl. You can't not is a level of disrespect. Mm. Because but, you tell people so you want to live till a million. <laughs> that has now very kind of strength. Yes. I can sustain as a minister, sustain, sustain this, this mm-hmm. lifestyle. Because it's so like I was just looking at a video where life sent me and Andrew, this visit at Moby. Yes. And the crowd, the police naturally surrounding them. One man I say, 
we want to see if we don't know what we want to say chicken back up, we want to see if we want to say we want to see smart business tax free like the Chinese. I just so, looked at it. Just a little while ago. Some, yeah, someone see, sent it to me too. You see the cry, I thought it was me alone. You see the cry, but yet still this person in charge. Not addressing it. It's like, he might move like, I think like him and all the people I'm saying I have no control. I well, he says, he says that social media and other things blocking our vision and giving us delusions. He said it's a mental health problem. I don't know. I mean, when was that video is something that's, that happened recently? Yeah, I think it's recently. But I don't okay, because food. I'm wondering how he feels surrounded by the people who are not cheering him on, not welcoming him with um, music and song. There's not King David being told that he has slain his 10,000. <laughs> There's just a clamor and a hollering and people are not a pleased. Jeering. I'm wondering how he feels if he's like the emperor in you his to, invisible garments. Well, yes, still, him, him are come now to these people to vote. They need the vote. They are come to these people. That's why it's them started. Them yeah, vote. somebody even Poly shout about you know, they only come here when they, what do you say, only when election time, something. Election, right? Yeah, people and are that's very that's noisy thing. about it. What's the next thing, Pastor? And I'm always wondering. If you have these people living here and feel the crowd, why is it that we don't have a law that compel art, compel these people to at least spend the weekend in them here? You don't think we're going to have a better Jamaica minute? The of course, because you no. know that's a part, that ought to be a part of constitutional reform when we say it, how our government is shaped and some of those issues have to come up. You can't do the constitution without looking at the process by which we, we so put like people. Yeah. So in my book on constitutional reform, that has to be a part of it so we don't keep revisiting the same things. But I want to ask you a question. Right. right. Even as we talk about the treatment of old people, how much of this would you attribute to people reaping what they sow? Even right down to the prime minister in the, the what looks like a, a little mob. How much of this is attributable to people reaping what they sow? More well, 75%. All right. I, mine is a little higher. Yours is higher. Because honestly, even like when you recited that you, you know, you hitch up around the elders, I try learn a thing or two, and some of them are saying, boy, go, you know, move or mm -hmm. whatever. We really had a generation who thought that children were to be seen and not heard and who did not make an investment in the teaching side of culture. They're not explain nothing. They're not tell you nothing. You got to just figure it out. A lot of um, people said, me did have to figure it out. So they didn't want to give you better than they got. And it, it broke something. And if when you if, if we can recognize how much of it got broken in that way, we can seek to change our approach so we can have a better harvest. What do you think? No, it's true. No, it's, it's true, true. It's so true, yeah. And but another yeah. thing inherent in that you know, Dave, we don't have a culture of honor in this country. We don't honor people. But as I said past a minute. I think I remember I did drop off a car and check the taxi. I did not know taxi pays one hundred and eighty dollars for my opportunity to pop me. And I think the guy, the elder, gave the guy some money and I said, like is one eighty for the fear. I may have said, Really? You know, just say, well, as an elder I thought mm -hmm. the elder pay half or less. But the thing is, ah, even if it's the political world me, minute. Yeah. You know what it's all long them keep Pernell Charles and Mike Henry. Yes. But yet still it don't reflect on the average senior citizen or senior people. It don't you don't hear nothing about all we really have care and our senior citizen. We don't. But yet we have Mike Henry and Pernell Charles in there all long them probably still in there. Probably is a sham. We don't and we are reaping we are because if you reflect back, if you go back to the 80s, why we have 800 people dying in Jamaica, but yet still we never take a drastic action to mm -hmm. say this thing is a sign. I will need to 
mitigate this problem right away. We Break don't, it. Just, yes. I yeah. can't as it is as usual. Yeah. I'm going to use it to Andrew. Warm to my window. Well, I slept in my window open last night, but warm to a window. Mm-hmm. And I was, yeah. oh, yes, so this minute, I was in half a tree again yesterday. Mm-hmm. And I am saying the year start. A friend sent a picture and first cousin died in Westmoreland. And the year starts with a killing minute. Somebody at church Sunday saw so the gunman just come with them gun downtown. She's a idea with them gun in the hand front. Mm-hmm. And took one one eighteen thousand dollar pama, and I'm simply saying the things start creep up minute. Yeah. I went up learning from last year, and up until this very minute, with the cost of living and the crime, this government don't sit down and talk to people about it. The step we have in it, and when the young man say, "What is it we are going to do to police our community?" Him don't. It's, him I tell you, all the things you are relevant, and once you have a crime free society, it can track in this stuff. Yes. Yeah. You're right, Jay. All right, my brother. I know, minute. Mm-hmm. I know this man, all I hear the justice, when the man with um, justice types, all they are boasting about minute and pass on our bright people is the ticketing system mm-hmm. and some man's go to jail. Or when, when the lawyer, the guy that the lawyer, so him not jail, okay. who are we going to send to jail for not creating our comedy to stop the killing? Yeah. What are we going to do about the killing minute? We came with device to tax people, to tax people, take tickets, and watch the step we are intelligent. We must for all the day. So, what yeah, it, it's... Do? So, the, 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 the cry the cry for... Justice. Justice is, it is resounding at all levels. I hope he hears it. Right. I hope he hears it, I and hope, I hear... I hope all those who are offering themselves for so political they, office they, hear it. So yeah. yeah. TV throw that minute. Yeah. If you can't figure out how to paint a door passer, why is it that it's so hard to paint the ceiling? Okay. All right. We have another have call there. Yes. We have another we'll call. take another call, my brother. Good. Respect. Respect. Good, Good morning, morning and welcome. Good morning. Yes, hello. Good morning. Welcome Good. to the Morning Connection. Yes. Malvern, how are you? All right, sir. All right. You know who you um, you know who you you running people are yet? No, I haven't met anyone yet. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Um, I um, I, I noticed that uh, sometimes when we talk about particular uh, personalities, mm-hmm. uh, uh, one tends to um speak about the person in a one-dimensional way. For example, you were talking about old people. And um, he, he, the, the idea was, at this stage of life, uh, uh, old people are uh, beloved, beautiful, lovely, kind, all the wonderful Who said that? attributes that we know in life. No, who said that? Uh, we said that no, this morning. Was, it w- mm-hmm. uh, okay, it, well, it I not. well, well, but well, Malvern, I was just today is my mom's birthday, and I was just reflecting yeah. on her life and impact on me, and yeah. family, and I was yeah. also making the point that there's a lot that our elders can offer to us. Some have done good, some have done bad. So, but but it's true. But there's a lesson in all, all of it. Them. Yeah. All right. So let me hear you then, because we, uh, yeah. I want to hear the fullness of your in thought process. The, uh, company of one of my elders. Yes. And it it was sad. I was hurt. Was he not because I was um, in sympathy? Yes. For the elder, mm-hmm. because but because the elder was was a terrorist. You're the terrorist. I get. Yes, I mean. get that. I get that. That's mean. why. I, and that's why I asked Dave. That's why I asked the last caller how much of it he thinks is people reaping what they sow. Aye. Yes. Yes. Because mm. what I find 
as I am in the elderhood neighborhood now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your ah? Uh, but the Bible says the sins of your youth visit you. Yeah, man. That's true. Yep. And and, and but, but so people refuse to to change them ways as they come closer to the end. I don't know why. Well, brother. When I was young, I thought that. Elders were sweet, beautiful, harmless, blameless people. That's wise. Thought. You thought they were wise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I grew up with a yeah. with a very elder grandma. She was you know, and I found her beautiful and loving, kind, all the wonderful things. Yes. Right. So, so she was my image of elders. So I thought as I moved That's along true. in life, I thought elders were that kind of a person. They, they were kind and just mm -hmm. loving and you wise. Must, that you and do. then you book up on some who was and, and then you book up on some who was like bitter, bitter. bitter and mean and, and Yes. Yes. Yeah. My, 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 even even my neighbor, <laughs> she is an elder uh, let me see now. I would say she's probably fifteen to twenty years ahead of me. Yes. And I'm scared of her. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, 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 there's a tangerine tree nearby. You're it's even whispering. Side, but it's not really on her property. Mm -hmm. And when I see the tangerines beckoning to me in their <laughs> beautiful colors. You know not to touch. <laughs> but but I still eat, like, as you may know, um, this is tangerine season. Yes, yes right. In yeah. fullness, yes. And, and, and I can spy the beautiful tangerines on the tree over there now. And um, <laughs> like I said, it's not her property, but uh, but it's near her. But she thinks it's hers. And that's what matters. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, sometimes they're not always nice, like I said. But you know, um, I, I said earlier to Percival that there, there is a very popular notion that honor is something people earn. Even this lady with her bitterness and her, her state of anger and maybe unforgiving um, b behavior, to honor her and to show her, to show her love and respect, this is what God speaks about when he says love. It's not loving the one who's lovable and wise and kind. And yes, yes, yes. It is the one who is, maybe I always say traumatized, because what would make you choose to be bitter and angry? It must be trauma that has you so twisted yes, yes. that you can't even let go of it. Yes. And those are the ones who really need the love and the understanding. you got to yes. swallow deep and hard and 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 kind of and be strategic in even how you approach them because they will lash out at anybody right. it's unfair yeah, and it's true you know but it's, that's where the work is needed yes and isn't that the test mm -hmm. of love that the true test we're um, we we are we're told to yes. love those who are unlovable yeah mm -hmm. that is the test that is the because your natural inclination is to uh, love who love you. Um, love who love you, man. Be and against that person and be repulsed and, and right and be against them. the one who who offends. And yes, and yes. to use an old phrase, that's how you break the yoke. Yes, that's yes. how you break, break it, because whatever has that person bound into that unpleasant behavior will can only be disabled through the love of God reaching their stony heart and giving them the heart of flesh. Even some of the big things we're grappling with in this nation, the crime, the insensitivity, the oppressive behavior, the dismissal of people's rights and feelings. The way to break that is not with force and equal anger or violence. Love. Uh, yes, yes, uh, truly, that's where. Yeah. That's how, it, and that's how, and that's how the change happened. You know, is if you if you track the history of the early church in terms of the impact, it's love. It, the people were just overcome with the love. Them say, well, it's a totally different um, agenda these people have." And Jesus says, "You have heard it being said. <laughs> mm -hmm. What you must do, and them say, love your love your enemy, do good to those yes, who yes. despitefully use you.' So." That is so important, and 
as my my friend says, we must walk around with a bag of seed. So my friend yesterday who spoke at the Heal the Nation. As Christians, we walk around with these bag of seeds of love, sowing it all over the place. And we don't know where it will happen, but we must do what we can do. And that is how we take back, I believe, our country from what is happening. Everybody taking yes. individual responsibility to do it. Malvern, we open our eight thirty break. All so right. we, blessings, my brother. We're just a click away. www.bestfm.com. Streaming live on the internet. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. What should a taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credits and debit cards accepted, it's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-382-528 or fax 754-3659. ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Vetran Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vetran Printers, your best choice in printing. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica, promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning. Welcome back to the Morning Connection. It is now 8.34. Good morning, Carla. Welcome. Good hey, morning. Long mm. may I wait, you know, man. I'm starting this year again. Have may I wait so long anyway. Give thanks, my brother. Don't be like those old persons. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miss, Miss Millet. Yes, sir. Um, is there anything in the Bible that you question that you think... You ever, if you ever cross a mind that is not right, or, or it's a wrong translation? I'm asking if that's a trick question. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trick asking question. Miss Minute, Miss Minute, not Pastor, because you say you believe everything in, in the Bible, Pastor. I'm asking Miss, Miss Minute. There are some things in the Bible which require greater revelation and research for you to understand it properly. May I answer everything, it that in way. Bi- everything in the Bible, I understand. Trust me. But okay. there's some things then that you're better than to be me. questioned that there is it right. What, no, like then you're, be- you're better than me. If everything in the Bible you understand. I'm still learning. 
Anyway, so you're, what, you're what, ahead what of what me. I'm going to say, there are so many things, but I won't go up to that. Pick one. Thing, but, but the two bunch of grip, maybe that's a wrong translation, Miss, Miss Minette. No, it wasn't <laughs> two bunch, it was one. <laughs> it was one. Yes. For one man to carry. <laughs> Two men carrying a bunch of grapes. Me, well, I know grapes, so I don't know if they have an extra large grape back in those days. So let me ask you, you know you know the grapes that were in Canaan in, in those days? You know today's grapes? No, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what size they were. Let me right. ask you, you well, believe in a dinosaur? Huh? <laughs> you believe in dinosaurs? Yes. Okay, all right. Yes, yes, Pastor. Come All right, on. wonderful. Yeah, anyway, so you... Lie about the bones yeah, but... Where and no, man, you but answered what your... What kill them out? You man answered don't your... know what kill them out, you know. Man, I speculate what kill them out. Yeah, yeah you I'm answered guessing. your own question, my brother. You said you know the grapes today, so you don't know if grapes were bigger. You have to All assume right. that they were bigger if there's a record that two men had to carry a bunch. Have you found any produce grown from our agricultural efforts that it required two people to lift it? Right now? Yeah. Well, nobody said no, you know, because me remember the pictures of the big watermelon and, and the, the big the, pumpkin and, and the, the big yam. yam. Yeah. <laughs> me the extra strong, you know, me the extra strong. So me don't know about how some people we, but so far, almost everything me see since me born, me one can live a bunch. Okay. And me see some big bunch of coconut and some No, me not talking banana. about that. I said any agricultural produce. Yes, you have that where two small, weak men could, couldn't <laughs> carry it. All right. Okay. All right, then, Cruz. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> These little boys they sent into Canaan <laughs> who were small yeah, and weak. Miss Minette and mm -hmm. Pastor, I wish you could get to the opposition leader to ask him why he didn't send anyone to a compound. To Okay. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Are uh, somebody in in mm -hmm. the opposition? You want uh, to call? We can call and find out, you know. Call He's... and find out, and and let me know, cause <laughs> we still not see the opposition as the government. I think they have a little more humanity than either of them. Trust me. You know that too. The yeah, I'm surprised that both were united in that position, and there might be an easy explanation, but you yes, know, so yeah. Me, yeah. We need an explanation to find out why. Yeah. why you know? Well, I'm not even interested in the explanation, to be honest with you. I think it is enough that it happened that way. And Jamaicans, if, they, if we are truly concerned about the relationship between um, Jamaican government and Maroon government, if we are truly concerned about how we treat with the rights of people, whatever, however, whatever we think of them. If we're concerned about it, it should concern us that this has happened. Yeah. And no explanation would make it an acceptable occurrence. An, an explanation might cause you to be sympathetic and change your verdict. Mm -hmm. But that it's unacceptable nothing can change that that already gone through the door yeah the places well, i see officials go just to show support and respect the places they go that the maroon community would be celebrating um a, 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 an occasion which this was the 286th celebration and for the last two years of recorded history nobody show up from the Jamaican government and we are busy trying to gain credit internationally from the peaceful presence of the maroon amongst us mm -mm. I'm here listening yeah but you do you agree with what I'm saying Yes, yes, yeah. I agree. So, it's so a shame. and they're talking about peace. They're talking about peace and everything. And yes, must, must live good. It needs to come from the top. It needs absolutely. That's why we spoke about absolutely. the impact of leadership. And you see, this happened. It happened this year, year two. By the time they carry that behavior into year five, six, or seven, is outright war. Is people so, the yeah, violence what? that we are seeing now in our own midst? Start from little insults and slights and 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 unacceptable occurrences. It grows up into something horrible. 
the other thing I need you people to check out. Yes. Is there a law for people to dump garbage out of the car, dash it on the roadside? How, how much thing can get charged for it? Is there a law against that? There is a law against it. And and occasionally there's lip services paid to being more effective in regulating it. But there is there is a law against littering the public spaces. And environmentally it's a hazard. And even well, if come this year. Yeah. They must found something about it. They must found something about it. They must be no man, the place don't have it. Well, well, you see, so two things are happening because, like we even say, people throw things through their cars. At least you can keep a bag in your car and have your garbage in the car until you reach. But people are walking the streets and consuming things and dropping things as they go. One of the things I've been in public places where I search until mid turn blue for find one garbage receptacle. Good thing. And then the thing, if you find so, it, the garbage is on the outside and not mm -hmm. on the inside of it. That yeah. is the other thing. So, so there is Warren. a need. There is a need for us to take Are it seriously. Huh? No, no, I'm talking to our, uh, oh, our oh. customer oh. just came here. Okay. So, so one of the one. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. We have someone else holding in us, so you can attend to your business. So I'll call, call us back. All right, cool. All right, then. Later. So we're not later, competing later. with you. Good morning and welcome. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor. Hi, Barry. How are you? Not too bad. Mm -hmm. What we want? Solidarity. What we need? Solidarity. Money, Pastor. What we want? My God is good, my brother. Yes, man. God, when I see it's on a shine again, you know. Yeah, man. God to see it. I'm Pastor. Mm hmm. I'm. Um, the um, in a Christmas, we went to the, um, a, a replay, a program, right? Mm hmm I mean, you hear me asking, <laughs> it goes so nice, can't for me, but to hear myself, and, you know. I sing? The pastor, <laughs> yes. the pastor, listen to me. I must me, must me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I must me, me must me, but listen to me. And I think must alone, I must choke. No, sir. <laughs> My wife tell me do not try it. She says and there's a reason she told me, but I won't hear <laughs> that. I try but I don't I would not my wife is the singer in the family and my children. <laughs> Sounds like she doesn't want competition. You, you sing this minute? Occasionally. Not as well yeah. as you. I, I wouldn't say that my bus, truck, car, motorbike, <laughs> or bicycle. I'm not there yet. Me like singing because it's when we used to go to school. You know, we used to be in a choir. Hmm. You know, yeah, man, I would go to Black River and our choir end up second in our St. Elizabeth competition, you know, so I found this, so I kind of have like a singing. You, you have know, talent you know? and you have a, <laughs> sound like you have a track yeah. record too of winning with your, yes, with and your singing. Yes, and the family do all like a singing too, so I just want to get you from. All right, yeah, man, so yes. yesterday, I did a listen, right? Mm-hmm. And we had some callers really I step out of the bone now, you know, because it's like they want to attack you and Mr. Percy, and we don't agree with that. Because, you know, every person has their views, right? And you know, must hear the news when you hear, right? So if you hear something, you come out and write me, tell me you do it to me, tell me. So when a man has got said, boy, you know, this is farmer, you know, nothing farmer. That is kind of Oh, yes, 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 yes. Someone said. Yes. I might have yeah. misinformed or or what? Not doing research or something. But, but then, we, yeah. then we tried to clarify and it was mm. two different issues. Because you see, yeah. understanding is a very mm. important thing, Barry. So. Yeah, and as I always say, when we listen to this program or any program, we listen to learn, right? And then you up there, a teach we don't like all that things that we never know. I, I, I don't know, may I listen to now, I don't know, enlighten me, I make me learn more, so. I wonder if we come to country <laughs> and if you want to be respectful. You know, you think I'm going to program and I'm going to allow you to talk. 
we couldn't attack. So I want to just know the man. You know, I have the full respect. Say, oh, you understand? Okay. Thank you very yeah, much, man. Barry. But you know, of course, our egos are not fragile. Certainly. Yeah. Next time you can sing for us. Yes, man. Yes, we not tap, you know. Yes, blessing. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 Interesting that he said that because sometimes I'm the one, well. No, sometimes we reverse the role. Sometimes I might be tolerant with something, and you say no. <laughs> Is there such a time? Let me think about it. <laughs> but no, when I told uh, Branch, and you're not the one. Oh, oh, please don't remind Branch. I oh, top Branch foot with that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um. There is a, there is there is a need. Even a program like this can't stay the same, sure. in the sense that you start it, you have a vision. Um, it is necessary that you can actually feel the progress taking place. Mm-hmm. Um, every time I speak to Malvern, I feel like there movement, is movement. Yeah, movement. I can. I know there is someone who allows his mind to to grow. Good morning and welcome. Good, Good morning. Good morning. Greetings. Greetings. Greetings to you, my brother. How is nice, everybody? We're Doing good. Well. We're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have to give thanks for life, eh? Oh, brother George, I've been looking for you in a George. But you I come. weren't looking for me. You weren't looking for me. No, George. <laughs> jo- listen to me. George. Because jo- we, get, we get you say, I come over, I come look for me. So me come out, some, some, some. George. I have the white flag up in the ear. I'm here. And you know, I'm assuming you were not shot, George. You know, not shot, me, George. No. <laughs> I lie, I lie, them have your mouth. So, me are the liar this morning. Yes. Me, son, up out there. Mm-hmm. Me, though, the, I didn't leave out there Friday. I leave there after after five. Or oh, five to the six. Saturday, I left exactly six o'clock because I was looking up the information that you're passing this way. Yes, I, but George, when I pass, I never saw you. So we, we our you time never, never coincided. You, you have my number, don't it? It never occurred to me, you George. You don't. You have my number. I'm there. Me, sometime in the All time right, time, George. Mr. Don't. Stone and don't. I, I get a rest. <laughs> as long as this is one, I am right there. Yes, I know. I know. If I'm at the across the road, I'm right there. Anybody come to me? All right, George. I just stop. So I got. I never see you, bro. No man. All right. I'm at that park. I one number for you. All right. You must know when you've won a case and stop talking. <laughs> eh? You must know when I you've plead, won the I case. Plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. And stop talking. <laughs> so I tell you yes, I'm, today, I'm, George. I am. I am you sorry that two of you are missing each other. I know your work there already, you know. Yeah, man. You have to be here, there, and everywhere. So. And I it's don't still, have no I still. feeling about that. I don't think that you're being busy. And but it's mommy's birthday you today. You're going over Spanish for your mom's later, birthday. Later. And it's mommy's eh? birthday. It's his mom's birthday today, and he'll be coming through the neighborhood. So don't make him get so cross with you that he no bother look. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> Speaking I, I, for I, a friend. I, 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 come over here. All right. Now, All right. We, I'm waiting on you. All right, then, brother George. All right. All right. Okay. You're welcome. So unlike tomorrow, you're we're going to have to report on it. So, so Miss Miss Sister, how you been doing? I am well. It is yeah, well with I, me. Yes, it and is you? well with my soul. And you? I'm just giving thanks. Every time you wake up, you have to just give thanks that you live to see you next day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and all the atrocity and things that have passed through the last day and the last month, and yes. from number to number, from 23 to 24. Yeah. We give thanks and hope and wish for the best. I hope that the, the murder and the violence will stop in this country and people will be able to, to sort out the dispute without violence. Yeah. Because I see a lot of domestic dispute uh, turning into murder and things like that and family over land and all type of thing. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. and all these young and all these type of things. We just wanted to, everything to just come to a standstill where things can be sorted out and things can run. Yet this country, really country that people want to work and live and not to run away from this country. You understand me? Because when we are trying to run here, then we won't see other nations coming in and setting up shops. So I have to think twice. We are not running to these people are coming and setting up business. Something is here, a gold mine is here. You understand me? So let us respect our country and respect our language because a lot of people trying to speak our language. Papua. You know how important our talk is, our, our, our dialect is? Everybody want to speak like us. They want to sing like us. They want to dance like us. Our, our vice is very powerful. Uh, they put the, the um, Bob Marley in the Hall of Fame now, in the rock. Well, they rock and roll Hall of Fame, but I imagine it's a good time. They're putting it now up and say, yes, put my number one up there. You get what I'm saying to you? Yes. So, so Jamaica, let us be proud of ourselves, proud of our language. And all the atrocities going on, we are still not the violent country in the world. We can keep on moving on with the blessing of God. All right, you sir. Thank you for that New Year speech. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. I didn't get paid, you know, when I get to the check. Send <laughs> <laughs> it in the mail. All right. I know the listeners will send it to you directly. Okay. All right, my sister. Yes. All right, Pastor. Bless Blessing. You. Blessings. All right. There's a question online. Do we have a call? No? Okay. There's a question online um, asking, a quest- the que- are Maroons citizens of Jamaica? At the moment... Maroons do not have their own passport, but they are entitled to create one. The expense of having, because they are recognized as um, an indigenous tribe, they can have their own uh, uh, authenticated identification that can be be brought to the level of global acknowledgement, but mm. there's, that's a cost that they would have to undertake. They are citizens of Jamaica. Jamaica does, um, you can be a dual citizen, in Jamaica permits dual citizenship, so let's put it that way. Maroons have not taken their arrangements to the level where they've launched uh, a globally accredited okay. passport or identification system, but they can do so. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but just off note, if you never know, you mm-hmm. can apply for your NHD refund beginning. For uh, that, that's for the maroons. Yeah, <laughs> for all of us. <laughs> it, 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 no, it is a it is a com. When we think about it, so they are a nation within a nation. UN recognizes them, right? Mm-hmm. And same like how they would recognize the, the Australian Aborigines. Yes. But you know, recently they had a referendum in about Abor something on the Aborigine um, in issue, and mm-hmm. they rejected it. Never, it never. The never Aborigines began. rejected it. Or? No, no, the people rejected in terms of giving the Aborigines some additional rights, Ab- privileges in, in, in Australia, Australia mainland. They, yeah, and they said no. Suffix is around the world. I have the Amerindians in the Amazon, um, and different people who are, you would say, they are the natives of the area, and the others have come and mm-hmm. lived there. Wow. But the politics and the culture of it are two different things, and they run in different streams. Parallel streams, but different streams. So you can have sovereignty under your, your recognized, even UN-accredited cultural banner. Right. And this is just a part of basic human rights, respecting an individual's right to preserve their heritage, to continue their traditional ways, to live in accordance with what they believe. We have it as Jamaicans, but we have it under the Constitution at which puts us in a covenant relationship. With the Maroons? But if there were, no, I mean, as Jamaicans, we're, if we're not Maroons, for, which is, has a different cultural heritage, a distinct, let me not call it different, because Jamaicans share in the heritage of the Maroons from a particular perspective because being having 
had their experiences in Jamaica and interacting with Jamaica, their hits, their history is also a part of our history. Our history is a part of their history. Mm -hmm. Do you follow? Yeah. But yet we have um, independent, distinct lines that we can say, well, my people went through this, yours went through that. Right. The recognition that human beings are entitled to, to take pride and ownership of those elements of their history is something that is has is globally recognized and it's getting more and more forceful. Okay. Those rights which used to be all oh, your dress, how oh, you dance, your food, that didn't have a grounding in land. It has moved to a higher level now where the land ownership is tied up with it because all people have a history with land. Okay. So, we, yeah, so that makes sense. But when the land have mineral and gold, if it's just a little dry scrub of land, nobody running it down. But when they discover there's oil or some important reserves, it takes on a whole different complexion, as we see with Venezuela and Guyana. Yeah, with what is happening. Yeah. Somebody. Good morning, morning and Carla. welcome. Morning. Morning, sir. Yeah. Uh, I heard Pastor talking about the Aboriginal. Aborigines in mm -hmm. Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, those people, even in America, where those Europeans came in, even down here. Yeah. You see, nothing will change for them because the people who control the law for change to come is European. And they won't and don't want to give up, give back an inch. Of You're still talking told. about the Aborigines or. Cause, uh, Australia is no. in its own continent. Yes, I'm talking about like Australia, America, um, I mean Canada and the United States. Okay, so 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 you're saying Yeah, well, I mean I I agree with you that the the power dynamics operate against native or first nations who already lost the fight for land because they were overwhelmed by the ones who came. Because they were kind. It's the same. Kind. Whether it's because they're kind or because they so fight they're valiantly kind. and lose the war, it matters not. They lost. Yeah. They lost their land. And many times, just the sheer numbers of those who come in. Sometimes it's health because you are accustomed to living a certain way and people come visit you and bring disease into your house that, that can wipe you out. We know that has happened. Yeah, but it's the same thing with, with Brother Curry. I don't think he can win a court with the government, in the government court. But I think even if he were to win a victory, it would remain on paper for as long as possible. And the way there is a way to getting to where he needs to be. And where he needs to be is not one where he's isolated, um, existing in his own little space, it's one where people are working together, and this is the, this is 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 the tough lesson that all of us have to learn, that this earth is a shared resource. Percy. So, the, the other thing I what want to think? talk about, um, yes. how can, from ever since years, may have followed this Israel thing. From Cuba to Israel, from a teenager, they follow these things. And them say me a madman when they always attack, say Castro a good smarty in his 70s, early 70s. How come Israel can go around and assassinate so much people, bomb building? How can nobody bomb the airport where a plane a lift up from or shoot to them top general? So since what? you've been studying it for so long, you must know what Israel's defense, what, what the Israeli defense mechanism is like they have been sending bombs and missiles and as whatever they can get to penetrate the what is it called the, the iron iron door the iron, iron door. door yeah they've been trying so you're saying how come they can't it's not that they can't they're trying and not getting it done no you 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 know who is who is the god that is protecting israel this minute you tell us because you know yeah, because you studied from your little picnic. England and United States. See, no, England I would have never United guessed States. that. Thank God we are protect Israel. But you know, I would never have guessed that England was a God or the United States. So that would not have been my answer. 
<laughs> well, me no say them a protect Israel. We taught them. All right, so let it be clear that Israel I don't. Ag- I do not. Ag- I, mean, I don't not agree with you that Israel that not England is a Israel. god. Not the real Israelites. They want them. The white man. They want them. Yes. Them. Everywhere they go, they capture people. And I think you I should. Think you should take those countries off your list as gods. All right. Well, it's, it's nine no, a.m. Well, what we mean tell by me. God? You know, God is God. You understand? No, I no, don't. Understand. That's, that's, you that's, ask me, so that's, yes. there. That's why I'm telling you. Don't call them God to me, or even don't take them off well, your list. If, that's God. If if them are ruler and can kind of take people things so the long. one true God don't like that kind of careless talk. All right. All right. It's All nine right, a.m. Call us back, please, because there's an interesting video. www.bestfm.com Streaming live on the internet. Best FM, 100 on your dial. Keep listening. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good. Be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. Goodness, mercy. It's me again, Lord. Your restorer, your game changer. Join me every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and Best FM 100. It's Apostle Clive Campbell, a.k.a. the Khaki Soup Man. Coming to you from 8 to 12 Aaron Street, also Richmond District, Mandeville. Embrace the change. No Greetings, brothers and sisters. I invite you to join us for the Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ radio program with Elder Kendrick Murray, where we stand firm that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. This broadcast is heard every Saturday from 12 noon to 1 p.m., and again on Sundays from 4 to 5 p.m. The church is located at 3550 Pleasant Valley Road here in Mobile, Alabama, in the United States. You may visit our website at sonofgodlives.org or our YouTube page at Minister K. Murray, or you may call us at air code 251-300-8888. One, two. God bless you, and we look forward to you tuning in to the program. What should a taxi service do for you? On time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. For a better choice in all your electrical supplies, A, authorized 3M dealer and better brand names, B, better service including free island-wide delivery, C, all major credit and debit cards accepted. It's ABC Electrical Sales, shop number 8, Hagley Park Plaza, Kingston 10, open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We make your electrical jobs as easy as ABC. Call 754-382-528 or fax 754 Nine ABC Electrical Sales for a better choice. Vejan Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. Vejan Printers, your best choice in printing. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. For 
promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 m It's good, it's better, but nothing beats. Good morning and welcome back. Thank you for listening in on the Morning Connection. We are talking this morning about all kinds of things arising in the national or in the public sphere. But um, staring us hard in the face is the reality of what's happening with our children and these violent, these violent attacks that have occurred. I mean, with the young lady, too many Daniel of Rowe. them involving women, yes, young uh, girls, and old women, attacked. old enough to know way better being attacked, um, and it always seemed to involve matters that really should never be the subject of this kind of confusion. According to two commentators have written on it in Dr. the Gleaner Abraham today. Dr. Abraham spoken about cheering as collateral damage. Mm -hmm. Is it the principle you can't catch Quaco? Yes. Catch him short. And um, Gordon Robinson has written about it also. Children live what um, they learn. Yeah, uh, you know, we we have been saying for the last, you know, couple of years that we've been on that these matters of morality and of the heart can only be addressed through the agency of the love of Christ. The love of God. Good morning and welcome. Love and bless you, on. Good morning, Mr. Africa. Good morning. How are you, sir? My president, I give thanks for it. I'm good to be here. Wonderful. Miss Minetti. Yes, my brother. Thursday, when I go over Liganilla. Yes. I want to find out from the JPS. I run around some light posts in a grandstand. And then cut down some of my trees. I want to find out when I'm happy for them here. They cut down some of your trees. Yeah. You, you literally mean trees on your property that were cut down without any conversation with you? No conversation, Miss Minetti. Oh, my goodness. You mean they were... They, or they were limiting them? Or it was... Hey, I hear me now, um, Reverend. It yes. was over the power lines or them cut down the trees No, but completely. even if even if they're doing it as a health as a safety measure with the power lines, they usually have con conversations with if they're coming to cut trees and it's on your property, no, overhanging the road or otherwise, you would know. Then I talk to you. They never spoke to you mm -hmm. at all, African, that's what you're saying. No. They might run some some new long light post, some taller light post. Some new light posts them around, so it, 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 I, I'm, I would have hit make them cut on the tree then. Yeah. So these are fruit bearing trees or shade trees? Let me apple tree full of apple, man. Okay. A red apple tree? Put yeah, it. one color, one color apple tree. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, my brother. We can mention it because usually they, I, I mean, that is the protocol as I have learned it. So we'll find out yeah. and can give them your number. One time when we live from King George property, come used to live from King George property and a GG alone live over there for now. GG and you African. Huh? Eh? You and the general you and the governor general. Yeah, we live over the side and in the other side. But but are the, are the governor general before the one that they know? Yes. The one that they know when you can't pick up a mango and sit up and fight you and eat it, you know. <laughs> So what they are patrol they patrol and have cameras or that is yeah, the word is put the, out. The bridge in the over there. And that's two of them have, you know, you can take up a mango and just plant a pick the mango and put in a bag down. Mm hmm You don't work like that. Six months out of my place every six or six. Yes. So me I say Miss Minetti, just find out what I want because I don't know an African something in a Miss Minetti. Okay. I'm a liver from a liver from a tree then and I'm in a work for Babylon, you know. I'm in a work for PNC and GLT. 
Well, I promise you this. I'm going to provide your contact information so that yes. you, yeah, they can, and, and you can outline and, and see what it is. And it is not within the policy for, for them to cut down people's fruit-bearing trees in particular. And you no, just, because when you are when yeah. work about, when you do what things out, maybe have some fruit tree over there too, yeah. and them are run some light to my farm, and then pay them out of the tree then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one no. This one no. Me me not turn on line. Nobody not turn on to me. Yes. Yeah. I go me go on the road yesterday and last night. Them come and turn on line, man. So I turn on the bridge. Hmm. Okay. We'll take care of that because we can can put you in touch. Ah, uh, one more thing, number seven. Yes, sir. But I'm sorry. This is something with you know. I'm here. The DPP come and say something again, say something. Who was not gonna, you know? What do you remember what it was about? Yeah, like Brian Sykes, you know, some cases come the way. Then they, like, the DPP need to do some more work. Mm hmm. So, some of the cases in each car, this man, they might get away. The people, they might get away, they're gripping them, you know? Yes. No, it's not her staff. It wasn't her staff. It's his. His staff. <laughs> it's his staff. The court. The court. The court reporter is the staff of the. It, uh, it's it's the administrative. Yeah. Uh, she goes. Which he, which he heads. Chief Justice is head of the administrative. Um, resource it's stuff not, 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 not yeah but i hear what you're saying you're you're alerting me to the possibility that the dpp's criticism and commentary on what's happening in the chief justice's admin office is a retaliation for him criticizing her office and saying yes. they need to do more work i get yes, it i get it and it, it, you true. know it is true that we have that kind of behavior if one says something you gotta say something back and uh, thankfully he nobody spoke. want to deal with the problem right yeah nobody want to fix the problem we just want to point fingers blame each other and keep yes. talking about it yeah yeah and the war is on yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 I, I what get is it. The other way? What is the other way, Miss Minetti? Well, um, you know that there is a way of, of agreement on how to move forward and just doing the things that solve the problem instead of trying to, to point fingers. The Chief Justice, when he spoke yesterday, seemed to have been onto something in that vein because he was speaking about what's jurors. happening with jurors. First, he went public and said, it's about time we finish with the jurors. And it, he got pushed back on it. And yesterday when he spoke at the opening of the term, he had some comments to make, which I, which tells me he's looking at the problem and he's figuring out where the bottlenecks are and what would be needed. So he spoke about, one, jurors not easy to access because they live in, most people are now living in gated communities and you can't, not even the police that's good to know, not even the police have free run of those communities so they're not being able to serve papers. He, he cited it I'm sure that's coming out of the reasons he's getting why things not being served but complaining about gated communities is not an answer to it. But he then goes a little deeper and says there is a need for jurors to be compensated when they come and they're not called up. They need to be able to get back bus fare. They need to have bank accounts so they can be paid. And he has a number of things he's looking at, including shutting down the circuit system where the court travel around the island. So I see him thinking on ways to solve the problems that exist without looking at who you know, you should hold up for criticism. That's a start. So who might depend on to help him? Well, there are some things which he has, it's in, in his shop, which he has to champion. Getting more money for jurors, that's him. He has to push for that law to be in place. So that's the finance minister? Yeah. Yeah. 
But you see, the judicial system is not short. Remember, you know, in the judicial system, they collect a whole heap of fines. They are um, a- approving or passing orders for you to convert criminal wealth assets into money. They seize a lot of things. It's not poor. So a good yeah. chief justice can advocate for proper provisions billions to be financed. Of course, they, they, they have billions of dollars at their disposal through the work but that's done in the court system. So why them don't want to use the money, Miss Minetti? Well, let me tell you now, we're saying it, 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 we're speaking it, and we now know that there are some things we can push for and we can point to where the money should come from. The Chief Justice should look at it and know that too. He knows how much money they collect by reason of the, the seizures and the enforcement orders and so on. You know, sir, if this, if the justice, if this justice system in Jamaica cannot balance and work properly, we in a serious trouble, Ms. Minetti. I know that, because everybody's going to make their own justice. And you see, even those those ways of resolving disputes by beating up people, that's all a part of it. Dispute resolution and the confidence we have that things can be done in an orderly way. It affects we have everything. A up, we, have a, Minnett, we have a set of politicians and public sector where it seems like they are not at one. Well. Like mm. them always at odd. Nothing can fix Ms. Minnett. That even the justice system. Well, I don't feel as... I, I, I'm not hopeless. I don't feel a lack of hope in that situation because um, we know what to do. And you know what? <clears throat> the other part of it, African, there are a lot of things that we can solve at the community level in terms of the justice system now. There are a lot of things that we can take care of. If you have no confidence that when it goes higher, it's going to receive right treatment, don't make it go to court. Begin to practice. Organize. That need organization. Yeah, it. well, communities need to be organized. That community not just happen organically. That is another, that is another problem again, Miss Minetti. These communities have no organization. But it's for us to do. It's for us to do. It's us to Anywhere do. We can do live. those things, yeah. You Anywhere can organize you live, yourself. you can choose to organize something. And believe me, when you make a representation and it work, you'll begin to get more and more support. I would like the people in a Jamaica, in a every community, organize themselves in a some form of organization and can defend nothing, no brethren. One, one people can't defend this, you know. Organize yourself, people. You may talk to them every day. Yes. <laughs> All right, Papa. Love and bless. It's good to be here. Yes. Thank you. All right, African. Thanks. You know, I was touched yesterday by the comment in the story with the K2 billion dollar development in downtown Kingston to hear the um, the investor, the project manager saying that try to get the people to c- get involved and couldn't find nobody. They didn't have no association and for one reason or another they just couldn't f- like bring together 10 people. Now the truth is you see people coming together all the time, night, night, party, block <laughs> party, all kind of something. So they've people come find. together. So you must find them where they have come together. Good morning. Good morning and welcome. Hi, good morning. Am I time now? Yes, it's your time. Yes, hi. I tell you, best of love to everyone right now, listening to Best of Good morning, mm-hmm. Vervine. How are you? Yeah, and I say, I will be thing just come, the family say. But you know, all speak, right. speak, 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 brother. I think, I think yeah, you may say first. We we may have to we should have this long time we should have depend the maroon you know. I tell them that long time, you know. Mm-hmm. We should not allow them to be the deal with the maroon so and and if the prime minister go and I give one you would wait against them. You know? A long time we see him do them thing there you know, and he come like he may stop on them and come again. But that thing not tell us anything even a year in which five five in which five which five only years in which five. And like and he go and like him no business. Yeah, he did my deal with it. So now here we, we, we are going, I hit the pump in my agenda, so I'm come with you one way or the other. We don't line up and, and set up in the and come and tell you, all of them things have to accept that thing, my, my set is coming with you, you know. So, 
he does not understand anything there. We just kind of, hey, mm-hmm. when you look into it, it's terrible, you know. Because I said, some people, them say they can't read, but they can't read the sky. Mm-hmm. They can't, can't understand the hands, they can't understand the animals. Because you see, you see, right now, you see, if we are talking about race, you see, if, 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 if really and truly, that I raised away Prime Minister when he in 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 you know, in you know, in Lewis, in the Stuart Room and all them men. If Lewis is not the one, the Stuart Room. The Stuart's inquiry. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, after you win, sometimes there's an appeal and you, you're unseated. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All night court in Lewis, you know, because, you know, see. Because that's lost three times, times already in the court. Man. Yeah, man. Because you see, some, some Jack youth back here and some, and some Jack youth back here 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 and some Jack youth back here. So, so man, some people don't understand it. Some nice people that show them say, in lieu of that race there, but, but, but in, to, to, to go for the show out and, and cause, uh, some man, some man get race attacked, you know, cause, uh, to, 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 Get back in with Nadi Ford when we don't lose still. That's Nadi is doing it. You know what I'm So I got the whole thing. Losing race. I can see that I've like my winner. Uh, you know? So uh, we you know we've been also, we can stand up on ourselves and, and, and stand for them and, and know where I'm going and stop going like they say a fool and, and, and not know where I'm going. So we know where I'm going now because every day people talk about it. Yes. You know what I'm so we have to act with the knowledge that we have. Yeah, man. Mm. You know, and, 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 you know, uh, even, even uh, the, bus, the bus thing, you know, we have to talk about it. We need to talk about it already. Oh, 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 it's a painful thing to see the man. Oh, it already matters to all people. You know, I, 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 I just have to talk about it and, and make it make it my life. Yeah. I don't have it. So we don't have it. 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 And and them them alone are live happy. And and when them them are glad to support you, you get out and all of them things. But you know, mm-hmm. well, as you say, there is an oversight. And, okay. And, and you, you know, but the, the earth, you tell them long time to do it, you know, so the earth has everything, you know, so no matter where I go on, the earth knows everything. And the earth all deal with them, if really the people really can, can feel it right here, John. Stand firm in that knowledge, very yeah, I just, I just got our favor, you know. Yeah. But, but some, of, some of them all get, some of them all kill it and get smashed up. Okay. All right. Some of them all get, 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 you know, because I feel the spirit, you know, I mean, I have the spirit, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have the spirit, you know. So. Okay. Well, you also know that some things are set and it's a question of surviving it. Um, I feel like what's happening with the Maroons, it's being pushed from, it, see, it, it's being pushed from one level to another, yes. and the silence is a part <laughs> of what's to come. But it, but it never hurts for all of us to be educated and to be aware of certain things because the moment to choose will come. There's yeah. always a moment when we have to choose. We can't yeah, just man. stand back. If I have never heard those, well, I them up, man. Yeah, I it has to come. I see it. Yes, you know, me, 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 me,
continuing to press the issue with the Maroon, he asked a question, does the treaty have the words um, free, sovereign, and independent state written in it? You found it, found it. I'm looking. I'm just pulling it up. I know I've... Um, but but I, what Vervain said in terms of the, the good overcoming evil in the end, and that and that is what you mean by a fight from a place of victory. Of victory, yeah. In in regards to um, what is happening, but I I I want to even as we go, we continue to speak. The 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 the, the thing in the paper today, I think it was Robinson and Abrams. One was talking about children as collateral damage that they be being brought into conflict between adults, and then. We know the cases of Daniel Rowe and Paul Will's daughter in terms of they then a result of conflict between the persons there. And of course, the greater idea, children live what they learn, we see that every day. Good morning, caller. Thank you for calling us on the morning connection. Hello, Pastor. Hello, Pastor. Miss Minute is there. Happy New Year to both of you. Hey, hey my you, friend. My Good for your new voice. All the better. What's Happy up? Happy New Year to you too. <laughs> I am fine, thank you. I'm so happy that I can get to you this morning. I have been trying from yesterday and oh, so. okay. Oh no, what people keep what's on your mind? What's on your mind in this new year? New year um exciting and interesting times. <laughs> That's all I can say. Exciting and interesting times ahead of us. Are you prepared so for that? Well I am prepared. Okay, good. Physically and mentally and and, and spiritually. Prepared. Spiritually, every alley I am prepared. Okay. Um, it's going to be a very tough time ahead of us. We we have to be know our creator and make sure that we have his protection, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what's new for you, sir? What's going on? Well, mm -hmm. as as for me, well today I'm celebrating a significant point in my life. My mom birthday is today and yesterday you'd have heard yesterday is my anniversary so it's back to back good times good celebration um good memories but as you have said for 2024 i think it's a year of new beginnings and it's a leap year and it says all kind of things happen in leap year but my hope is that if you know god he will protect he will guide he will give you the grace to go through whatever comes your way but continue to look up to him because he's, he's the art and the finish of everything that we need to do. Yes, what I see them planning for humanity is very terrible, you know. Well, them, very, very terrible. But I'm not scared, you know. I tell people I'm not scared. They, as Minute always speaks to the imaginations of men. <laughs> they have their imaginations of what they would want to see happen. But then the person we believe and acknowledge as Lord. He's gone to the end and he's come back and he says, okay, will you journey with me? Um, put your hand in my hand and I'll walk with you and if you trust in me, I'm going to direct you through everything that is happening. Yeah. It don't mean that I hope Jamaicans are wake up to the reality, you know, that yeah. um, very serious times are ahead of us. Yeah, man. Yeah. Very, very serious and very And and one of the things is we have to come together in unity, um, together across all the divides that we have in order to survive what will probably happen or is ahead of us. So we just have to deal with that. Yeah. You know what my thing is, Pastor? Yes. My existence comes through a creator. Right. My existence on earth comes yeah. through. I mean I was I was born of a woman. It is a man and a woman who really did their act and caused me to be here. But it is also the creator that allows everything to happen. Right. And when you look at these these guys around the world who want to make plans for my life, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm saying, telling me what to take in my body from what I am not to take and these things. I'm not into these things, you know. Okay. So you have a choice. So, but because, yeah. you see, that is what he gave to us at the beginning, choice. But, you know, choice have consequences. So some of us want the choice, but we don't want the consequences that work with that choice. Some people have made choice, 
and it has not the consequence they don't want to deal with it but that's just a part of your life and your living you remember the hebrew boys those three hebrew boys who were in there um shadrach, shadrach meek and admin they yes, the other yes, choice yes. who will you worship and it comes back to that so um that's where we it will come to to i think for a lot of us but as we say we know who we have trusted in and he will sustain and keep us. We're up until at nine thirty, babe. But good to hear your voice. All right. Good to hear you too. Blessings. Mm -hmm. All Thank the best for twenty twenty. Okay, minute. You take yeah. good care of yourself. Thank bye you. bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. You found it. What? Register. Oh, click away. www.bestfm.com. Streaming live on the internet. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good. This is already pastor and friend, Reverend Simon Peter Jones, inviting you, my friends, to listen every Tuesday evening on Best 100 FM at 7.30 p.m. for the program, The Voice of Hope, as we extend hope to the hopeless in this dying world. God is good, be encouraged. Hope is in the Lord. VeGem Printers for all your printing needs. We specialize in calendars, flyers, brochures, and more. Call us today at 968-7506. That's 968-7506. Or visit us at 4 East Bloomsbury Road, off Hagley Park Road. VeGem Printers, your best choice in printing. Do you need reliable health care? We have it. Yes, we do. Great George Street Pharmacy. Shop number 897 Great George Street, Savannah Lamar, West Milan. Opening hours, Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call us at 876-603-7372 or WhatsApp us at 876-205-0499. Yes, we have reliable health care for you at Great George Street Pharmacy, Savannah Lamar. What should a taxi service do for you? On-time taxi service is more than just a ride to the other side of town. They offer clean and spacious vehicles, reliable service, and promise to always look out for their customers. They'll come when you call and take you where you want to go on time. We are something special on the road. Half a tree, half a tree, one already, two and three. Ready, mama. Ready, ready, ready. Is this the confusion you feel when trying to work your way through medical systems in Jamaica? Try a dose of Ask Dr. Mary every Thursday at 5 to 6 p.m. Let Dr. Mary help you understand your medical problems and bring you to a calmer place. <laughs> Live, camera, volume. Live it up Fridays on Best 100 FM. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with I, Ibi Lion, each and every Friday. Giving you the better vibes heard everywhere. Best 100 FM is the authentic voice of Jamaica. Promoting your prosperity with better vibes and better music. Let us promote your goods and services for you. Advertise with us. For more information, call our office at 876-276-8935. That's 276-8935. The Morning Connection is not your usual talk show. We aim to stimulate discussion and chart new paths to self-empowerment. So please join us, Minette and Percy, on The Morning Connection, Mondays to Thursdays, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Best 100 FM. It's good. 
It's better, but nothing beats. Good morning and welcome back to the caller online. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right. Um, prompted by one of our listeners online, I just hunted down uh, the treaty um, with the Maroons, Maroons and the British. And the third clause of it says, the third article says, that they, the Maroons, shall enjoy and possess for themselves and posterity forever all the land situated and lying between Trelawney Town and the cockpits to the amount of 1,500 acres bearing northwest from the said Trelawney Town. Fourthly, they shall have the liberty to plan, plant the said lands with coffee, cocoa, ginger, tobacco, and cotton, and to breed cattle, hogs, goats, or any other flock, and dispose of the produce or increase of the said commodities to the inhabitants of this island. So, I mean, ancient as the document is, it had all kinds of elements, social, cultural, and what you'd said then, trade. Um, yeah, so this article is about trade that you you can plant and what you can plant you can sell it to the inhabitants of the island provided always they see that when they bring the commodities to market they shall apply first to the customs or any other magistrate of the parish for a license to vend same just like how we forget import license and <laughs> export license good there was morning two companies that were country two. yes they were trading good morning and welcome good morning love and bless. yes my brother economy Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you have any points what to do to grow it? Well, there, there. Food security. There's a well. I mean, that one. Agriculture. That, that's one area of growing it. That I believe have vast um, growth potential in terms of. Um, growing crops that are bring premium value nationally, internationally in terms of niche market as one. Um, a second one which which people have looked at but they have not really done it is to use our proximity to countries um, in terms of what you call these zones, these economic zones where you can grow we can manufacture things, right? Things, and it hit the market quickly, like what happened um, in Panama. The third way that we have to grow is to look at what the world is looking for in terms of our cultural items, the 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 the, the things culturally, like the entertainment part of it, and other things, which is really about the people and their potential. That's another area of growth, because you see what has happened to us. And people are speaking about it. One of the things that we were so very much dependent on was the bauxite, and that has is is it, it's dead. <laughs> it, 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 it has it has rugged it, scores. Grows. But then there is the potential for the rare earth metals, which a lot of people are using in industries that are expanding and growing it. And just off the top of my head, those are the things that come to mind. We have no smelting plant. Yes. And we have abundant land where we are destroyed. Mm -hmm. They talk about farming, you know. Mm -hmm. They started farming. That's what I said, food security. Grow. Yes, and we, have, we have been destroying the land. The river, they might dry up. All of those things are going on the river. But what do you think, African? You ask me, and I've given you some suggestion just off the bat. You, 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 give, you give the right suggestion, but why the lead, why the PNC and the GLP don't see that? But I think when you start to talk about growing the economy, you have to go back to the fundamentals of first looking at your productive capacity. Because growth don't mean performing um, optimally with what you have. Growth means an overall increase that goes beyond just getting the most out of what you have. For, for something to grow, it, it, the foundations of it have to change, expand. 
So you have more territory if you're going to grow it. If not, what you'll have is just a redistribution amongst the existing moving parts, like what we see now, why the, the country is reporting 10 consecutive periods of growth, but it's not it's not real growth because it's not felt across the whole nation. Only a few people using it. They, so that they, to me, they, when they it trickle it, down so it's, economics. So it's just a redistribution then. You've really just taken from one side and made one side look fatter. So if you're going to grow your economy, you have to change the fundamentals of your productive capacity. Where and you can do it by stacking like you were talking about. You just mentioned smelters. If you used to just dig it up and sell it raw, it, you, you could grow it by dig up more. But if you dig up more, and convert it means it high you're value. using existing land differently and you'd have shut down some uses that must have had value either culturally or in terms of money. So you, you start by doing, um, that is what now, the... The vertical value, value chain. You grow vertical. You can grow vertically. That is something that Jamaicans can do. But to spark growth, you also need investment of fresh money. Because if you take away from existing money, it means that money have to stop what it used to do, to do something else. And only if the other thing that it does is gonna give you multiples of return can you really record it as growth if not you'd have just shifted the same dollar around in your wallet the but backside, the, the finance minister of it gave the backside money last year no oh, you mean when he gave oh yeah when he yeah. gave the the so that now work so it's right machine. so that's why i said even even you as an individual saying i want to grow my own wealth or my own asset base you yourself have to make a similar analysis well if i used to work 10 hours out of ends in the same time frame mm -hmm. so and i feel the, like the, the, there's the, a whole education that need to take place in that direction then huh? don't invest much in technology neither well what i see happen like i came through the the, the port of entry at king kingston airport recently on the plane, they give you a paper. Did we get it on the plane? I don't remember. There's, they put, the, you write up something. First, they ask you to file something online. So you'd have taken time and resource to do that. I think, yeah, Lowell did it. When we arrive, you're taken to an electronic um, station Scan it. where they have staff there to help people to use it. So you've not, in fact, now you have increased staff. Because you have bought technology and you have to hire people now to stand up and make sure, say, you, the technology is being used. Then after it gives me a printed receipt, I have to still go in a line? to, a, yes, where I had to fill out a form. Again? Yes, because while you've automated one side with something, in order for you to now go to customs with your bag, you need a piece of paper to present to customs. Wow. Some countries where you go, none of that is going on. That's a walk through. That are, that are more that are more investment in security. <laughs> and, and I often I you know, as somebody who has traveled, I go to different places and we yeah. say those walk through. Yeah. Because they their focus and said they, they yeah. work out the probabilities of people going through, them said we not might as well we know. Mm -hmm. Don't spend no money and effort, effort on this because th that. this because is not a risk to me. Negligible. That's not a risk to me. And there was a time when we had a form that people had to fill out because the tourism ministry was collecting data and using it to inform marketing decisions and so on. We're not doing that anymore. Yeah. So why why the paper? So you spent money on the paper, money on the computer, money on the staff who have to stand up there and watch people do something that. And you have already now put something in place that somebody had to file something online, online. before you come. So you expect when you come to just walk through, yeah. present your passport somewhere, they stamp it because they haven't got around how to Good receive stamp. people without stamping the passport. <laughs> But the truth of it is your passport could be a digital file that is accessible to you and it's online. So once you come in and you've filed your thing online, your, your, your digital passport is updated to show that you went somewhere and you came back on X date. Mm. Like how they were trying with the vaccine passport. Mm. Yeah. So, so it's, it's how you use technology to increase efficiency um, is important. You, it can end up just being an expense and a point of that frustration for your, your people. Efficiency. But yeah. but but 
I think we have to try out the technology more upon the farm. Well, but you know, some of the things that, that drive that um, technology and, and farm use is dependent on terrain because I remember when I worked in the sugar industry and they started the mechanization of it, 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 it could work in some areas because it was flat and easy to use. And what happened, you were able to harvest and reap quicker without as much people because a lot of the cane cutters were becoming old so that forced them to use that but in other areas where people farm it's not possible but but again you know if we put our brains to it i know we'll come up with solution that what i think you are doing african we need to begin to put our minds collectively as to how as a country we're going to grow make the pipe yes, bigger because instead of because, yeah because but i think the people yeah, them are lose confidence in the government system yeah in the economy yeah because them buy some band but it worth 100 and it come down to all 50. Mm -hmm. yeah so now the fsl oh the FSL that's another story the people them are lose lose the confidence in the in the thing we're doing. That's true, but that is that is pure tea for doing a tea to people. But you know the the conversation about how to grow the economy will start with how do you grow your personal economy? If if persons begin to look at it from that level, because we can't control what the government is doing in terms of policy, but the private sector energy can be the starting point because that's where it starts anyway governments don't grow economy they they're supposed to manage it mm -hmm. and they're and supposed to facilitate it. things but, they can't but it is private sector money and entrepreneurial strength that grows an economy so even you right there um african whatever it is you're doing to make money for yourself if you figure out how to multiply it without to how to multiply it efficiently without it costing more than it is giving you because some people so you have to work out how much money I need over what period of time I'm going to get back what I put into growing what I'm doing you will also become a source of employment because and you're going to need additional hands to, to get I to where you're going that, if I even have that mindset yes yeah. to grow yeah it's a mindset and to grow the economy also yeah and the people around when they are doing yeah they have no bank filling and no money for the data in this minute. Aye. No, well, that's why even when I said to you, new money, is not new to you money, because new to you money would come from you borrowing from existing sources, which is part of the, ex the, the circulation of money in the economy already. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to, like, yes. find a partner that come from outside. That's why the government goes mad seeking Investor. foreign direct investment because they know that taking from existing money supply is not new money. And it, yeah. But them have a lot of money and them not invest it in the thing where it invest it All right, you've brought me to the end of the show. It's 9.48. We've got to go. Yeah. This is an, in, an important mm -hmm. and an interesting, interesting discussion. discussion. So when we are back on air, continue. let's continue it. We really want to see the economy and grow, Miss Minetti. It's not growing. Them so the chicken don't have a reach in the next All right, my years. brother. we got to go. All right. Then. Thank you. Minute. Yeah, it's, right, a, it's, a, it's a big topic. Yeah. But, First but, of all. But thank you um, to our callers who have called um, this morning. Um, interestingly, um, even without thinking about it, do you know that the editorial was about ageism and how yes, do we yes I, I, I didn't even touch it i saw it yes uh, mm -hmm. how do we involve are we taking the old, are we taking the skills and the learning from, from our elders right um it, it i thought it interesting too because my view of it is that many of our elders when i was in um, private practice as an attorney in a firm mm -hmm. one of the things i wrote about and which drove me to the place of desiring my own independence is that the succession planning is not embraced in our society. First thing, people feel like they Com should go to whenever they feel like. They should continue working until they feel like stopping. No mm. problem with that. But if you're in a structure where you're training people and positioning them to lead, you can't stay on, and on the never. job until that person is frustrated and leave. Mm -hmm. If not even the investment in training them, that you, have, you would have lost. You have, you have lost. So, it's so we're seeing it being rep being played out in private sector in in public sector where some people just 
don't want to go in the political class. It, yeah, you see it. All over. They don't want to go. Shifting mindset, right. which is where... And, and they get mean with their knowledge when they realize they think it's a competition. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. if we if we, which is which is where we we ended, which is what which is where did, did someone say something about the DPP? Yeah, but did I hear? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that's an issue in the letter which was written by the lady the, discussing Cassie. the yeah. The, it was made. The point was made that people who come in looking for a career path and with aspirations to leadership will get frustrated because one person is in the job want to go seventeen twenty years. Yeah, there is a th- such a thing as staying at the party too long. People start move the chair, sweep the floor, and start <laughs> give you a bad eye. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> no, but you know, but I it's almost know, ten, 10 o'clock. o'clock. I know, but we on are that not note, staying at the party, party too long. long. <laughs> but it just, which is where we want to live, a shift in mindset. <laughs> yeah, how we see things, that's where it begins. Thank you very much for joining. Yeah, they will happy not move the chairs on us. Uh, yes, happy <laughs> birthday to Miss Hazel. All right. But we're playing something for Miss Hazel, didn't yes. you? She's royal. Yes. And then, of course, Miss Byris is coming at 10. And yes. I pray that she will remember Miss Hazel, too, yes. <laughs> with the right tunes. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you online and on air. Earl Brown, I'm going to address this question you asked tomorrow. I will tell you how to get your own passport recognized <laughs> as a, the passport of a sovereign nation. I will talk about it tomorrow. The steps to um, attain independence. It's not just for nations. Even as an individual, you're 18 years old now. You hear that you can't vote. You hear that you're an adult. How do you exercise these rights so it can be taken seriously and you don't keep lapsing back into a, a place of dependency? I have elevated your question down to something that fits within the narrative that we like to pursue he's asking about the maroons thank you mr producer and mr engineer and pastor percival go do your duties as a son yesterday you were the you were the husband and today you are on you're online as the son celebrating his mother's birthday and honoring her yes yeah, bless it. yeah. thanks Someone shy until I seen your eyes. Still, I had to try. Yeah, oh, yes. Let me get my words right and then approach you. When I'll treat you like a man is supposed to, you'll never have to cry. No, I know everyone can relate to when they find a special someone. And she's royal, yeah, so royal, and I want her in my life. I never know anyone so one of a kind, no, the way she moves to her own beat. She has the qualities of a queen, she's a queen. What a natural beauty, no need no makeup to be a cutie. She's a queen, she's a queen. And when they ask what a good woman's made of, she's not afraid and ashamed of who she is. She's royal, yeah, so royal, and I need her. So one of a kind until the night that I see you rise. My queen, so supreme. I can see it in her eyes, the way she smiles. Hey, yes, I and I. I know the king and queen crown, see I'm tied, so I never leave your side, just live with me through the trial times, oh. and she says she no mind, cause right I know good man is hard to find, and she can't about that giant line, that's why she has no ties at this time, yeah. 
know many men are trying, but she needs to be more than wine and dine because she's royal, yeah, so royal, and I want her in my life. I never know anyone so divine. The way she moves to her own beat, she has the qualities of a queen, so supreme, ooh, ooh, what a natural beauty, no need no makeup to be a cutie, she's a queen, so supreme, yeah, and when they ask what a good woman's made of, she's not afraid and ashamed of who she is, she's royal, yeah, so royal. One of a kind, no, no, the way she moves to her own beat, she has the qualities of a queen, my Nubian queen. Solidarity, solidarity, solidarity. 
Solidarity. Solidarity. Solidarity.